All right, it's working. We're here. We're gonna be playing Legend of Zelda, everybody. Everything's working fine just now. All right, let the story play. It gives you like five seconds before it goes right to it. Long ago, Ganon, Prince of Darkness, stole the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda of Hyrule broke the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces and hid them from Ganon before she was kidnapped by Ganon's minions. Link, you must find the pieces and save Zelda. And these are just all the items you can find in the game. We can go right by that. Anyways, chat, like I was saying, I've been wanting to do a little Zelda marathon, especially during this season, where I have a lot of nostalgic memories for these games. And, of course, we got to start with the first one. Now, I had the Game Boy Advance port when I was young, and I remember feeling pretty proud of myself when I beat it, because this game can get really confusing. Let's put it in. If you put Zelda as your name, um, you automatically can do the second quest. I've never done the, the second quest before. I don't really know much about it. Other than that, it's just like an arrange mode that's a lot harder. Gotta use select button for this. And chat, I'm also playing this with a retro controller plugged into the Switch here. Um, I have a Sega Genesis controller that works with my PC and with my Switch. <laughs> I'm using it because the Switch Pro controller actually, um, it has a pretty bad D-pad and I don't like it very much. Let's give this a go. The way Miyamoto intended. All right. And because, um, I tried, I initially tried recording this off the Wii U, but it has, like, this weird, like, filter that makes the game, like, dark. Apparently that's to reduce flashing, so I ended up using the Switch Online. Anyway, there's the dangerous to go, uh, dangerous to go alone thing. So because of that, you're gonna see the guest star of, uh, Splatoon Girl in the corner there, because that's my icon. Let's go. Pop. Pop. These are from Clue Clue Land. I know where Dungeon 1 is, I definitely remember that. But the point of this is I wanna take my I wanna take things slow and just enjoy these games, because they're very fun. I don't wanna have to rush through them. Because there's a lot of secrets to find, and of course I walked into these, that's what I always do. It's helpful to pick up rupees now, because I wanna get the 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 blue ring. I forgot the word blue for some reason. It also would be good if I drop bombs. In chat, I don't mind if people tell me where some of the secret caves are, because this game has some obnoxious secrets. As, like, basically, like, did, do you own the strategy guide? Then you're not going to find the cave. I'll show you what I mean if you've never seen this before. All right, level one. Anyhow, chat, is the game to audio good? I'll turn it up a little bit. I was worried it may have been too loud. All right. Oh, yeah, getting stuck. Even though it looks like it's grid-based, it's definitely not. It's weird. You can easily get stuck on corners with the movement in this game. There we go. How brutal is the second quest? I just, like, never... Like, I always knew how to unlock it. You either beat the game or just put Zelda as your name. I've always been confused about these statues, too. Like... This is a dragon, obviously, but what is this, like, some kind of fish head? I thought it was, like, a Zora head or something. Second quest is pretty brutal. Maybe we can give it a try sometime. There we go. I want all the extra keys I can get. It's, like, half-grid-based, yeah. Wonderful. The doors have, like, these weird little noises. That they also recycle for some like uh, bosses like noises. So because of that, I was th I would always think like as a kid that the doors opening would sound like the um, the bosses like growling through the dungeon. Okay, I don't have the map yet, so that little thing under level one doesn't matter. You can go to like most levels. Like uh, the levels I remember I can get to right away are one and three. I always got confused finding level two. Let's go. Anyways, we're right into it now, aren't we, chat? Now, before I go through there, let me check the other path. I think the dungeons have cracks on their walls. I don't remember. Okay, there's the compass. 
compass tells me where, like, the boss is, right? Or rather, the Triforce piece. Oh, I've been looking forward to this chat. I've played some Zelda games on and off through the years. Some of my older Zelda playthroughs that I did at, like, the start of, like, you, me doing YouTube, though. I don't really like them, so this is an excuse to also, like, replay them. There we go. Just make a nice little clean playlist of all the Zelda games. Be pretty easy, you gotta push that block. Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Now, what is this guy referring to exactly? Is he trying to, like, guide you towards where level 2 is? I, I never really understood with the secret. It, like, a lot of the hints are kind of vague. I don't know if it's a translation thing. Also, you can attack him. You can attack him and the torches will attack you. <laughs> Alright, audio looks all good. I'm just worried, because I have, like, a, I have like a three-monitor set up here <laughs> with my switch plugged to set up with the TV and everything, and there's the map. Don't want to make any mistakes. It's very easy to bump into enemies accidentally, because, you know... When you swing your sword, of course, you have to, like, stop for a second. Alright, so let's go up this path first. You can attack that guy. You can't attack the other old old guys in, like, the overworld. It's only, like, the ones in the dungeons. Give me that. I know there's randos for Zelda 1, but I've never done them. Maybe sometime I'll try that. Ooh, nice bombs. You can get these, like... At any point in the game, you just gotta wait for the drop. Okay, give me a key. Careful not to press B. I'm pretty sure I know what B is on this controller. So the reason I went up here is because I need the dungeon item. If you're familiar with other Zelda games, you know that you don't get the item. Or rather, you get the item so that you can reach the boss. But that's not really a rule in Zelda 1. So... Back when I was a kid, I remember I would just, like, finish a dungeon and be really confused what to do next, and then I'd look it up. And I'd find out that, like, uh, it turns out I just didn't pick up the item in the last dungeon. It's really silly. I don't have... I don't have Boomerang yet. The map is an eagle. Yeah, it's funny looking. A bow with no arrows. Um, actually, in this game, your rupee count is the arrows. They probably did that to save space. But there's no real reason to use the bow. Right now, anyway. I should be fine. And these are moblins. Okay. If you have full health, you shoot like a laser out of your sword. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Nice how it goes diagonal and stuff, too. Pretty cool for when this game came out. And then there's these things. Good old wall masters taking you to the start. Alright, here's boss one. Okay. I could just go up there and kill him quickly, but alright, there's that. Free heart container. Excellent. So you can get, obviously upgrade your sword. Um, I believe the requirements for getting better swords is you have to have a certain amount of max health. I didn't understand that as a kid, because they didn't really explain it. And they did a similar thing in Breath of the Wild, where you need to have a certain amount of hearts to pull the sword into the pedestal, which was I thought was a cool throwback. Alright. Ah... Uh. He bumped into me anyway. Alright, chat. So now that I got bombs, I'm gonna show you what I mean about uh, weird secrets. Oh, I was looking at chat and holding down, and I didn't realize they popped out. So, there are bombable walls in this game all over the overworld. And I mean all over the overworld. And they're important to find because there are plenty of them that have, um... That have heart containers in there. There's no heart pieces in this game. And one of them I remember is right here. No indication, these are just everywhere. Let's play a money-making game. Oh, not on my stream. Not on my stream, just once. 
Oh, all right then, I got ripped off. We're not doing that again. So, if you know, chat, where any of those hidden walls are, feel free to tell me, because I want to make sure I get the good stuff from the good ones. Oh, that was unfortunate. There we go. Take him out. I don't remember where they all are, but... Let me see here. I want to see if I can remember where... Come on now. Oh, does shield just work with my sword out? I think I remember where the shop, uh, the shop where the blue ring is. I want to check where that is and see how much it cost. Oh, damn it. Boomerang don't do crap against the Zoras. I do need a candle for a lot of stuff. Getting that would also be good. Buy something, will ya? Arrows. Oh, no, that's what you meant. I have to actually physically buy an arrow before it lets me start using my money as, like, an arrow count. That's what you meant, right? Well, I don't need to spend that right there. The Zoras in this game are annoying as hell, yeah. Okay. I think it's around here. It's behind, beneath one of these statues. There it is. Boy, this really is expensive. So, not only do you need- do you want that blue ring, because it gives you more defense, you also want this- this piece of meat right here. I think it's like Dungeon 7. There's just a random moblin that blocks your path, and he's just like, grumble, grumble. And you're just supposed to know you need this random piece of meat to give to him before he moves out of the way. That had me stuck for, like, ages until I looked it up. So, we're gonna be saving up for 250, because we want the blue ring. But I think I know how to get the dungeon, too. It's a secret to everybody. I might end up buying the candle first. Chat, what's the difference between the blue and red candle again? I don't recall. Come on, now. Kill some enemies to get some stuff. Just hearts. What's this? Blue candle can only be used once per screen. Okay. I remember this cave. I think I need to get a letter and show it to her. Okay, so the blue candle is still worth getting, though, because you can find some secret areas with it. Okay. There are some places that have heart containers I could access right now if I knew where their, uh, bombable wall is. I vaguely remember, but wasting bombs is, like, you want to have a bunch of bombs before you do that. Like, maybe I can afford to waste some and mess around, but... For now, let's farm the rupees. I need to head towards this area anyway, because I should find, um, Dungeon 2 in this general direction. Give me that. Aw, oh, damn it. Whatever. Oh, just 208 more rupees, chat. Okay, not here. Sword shooting only happens when, um... I, th I think it's down there. I can burn one of those bushes where the blue moblin was. I'm pretty sure. I vaguely remember some of this stuff now. It's been like 10 to 15 years since I played this game. Remember like I beat it one summer. Like I was staying up late at night. It was just summer vacation. And I'm like, I want to finally beat Ganon's final dungeon. Alright, cool. I got some bombs. And I felt pretty good when I finally pulled it off. Here we go. Oh, there's a timer. There's the blue candle. So, yeah, if I get the blue candle, I will have it. Like, it won't run out, but I can use it once per screen. And the keys are just, it's literally an extra key. You're essentially paying to kind of, like, skip dungeon rooms, I guess. 
Now, what's this? Crap. Alright, let's see this. It's a secret to everybody. Ten rupees. Okay, more bombs. Nice. I don't remember what the limit for how many bombs you can hold is. Does it only go up to nine? There's another one. It's a secret to everybody. Alright, I got 30. I think I lose my rupees if I game over. Do I? Okay, I got lots of bombs. Oh, it only goes up to 8? Damn. Hang on. Maybe I can find a secret. Let's just focus. Let's just focus. Oh, I'm getting bomb drops. Come on. Come on now. The sounds of them trying to, like, emulate the ocean here. And there's a free heart container if you have the ladder. Gonna die. Buy something, will ya? Nah. Oh. Actually tapped up. Everybody dies several times in Zelda 1. That's just the Zelda 1 experience right there. I think there is, um... Oh, damn. There's, like, a hidden cave around this section here. I'm gonna take a chance on it. Come on. Get out of the way. Nothing to lose by trying. Here? Ah, there it is. Ah, there it is. Take anyone you want. So, chat, I have a choice between a heart container or a potion. A single use potion. Yeah. Poor kids that didn't know how, like, they thought the potion was probably good. Tough decision, I know. So there's caves just like that all over the world. Free heart container for doing it, so it's good. No heart pieces. Just this. Oopsie. I like how the overworld map isn't really a very good overworld map. It's just kind of like, eh. Um, now, how do I get to Dungeon 2? Even, even a small child knows better than the n not pick the potion. Oh, I'm in the desert. That's too far. The potion is two use, but yeah, still bad. Okay. They tried. Eighty-three rupees, not bad. Ah. Let me go around again. I'll get out of here. Let me check over here. Go up and around. Hang on, I should put on the boomerang again. It's gonna got some stuff. You always want the heart. I think I go over from here. Oh, nice, I got the timer. Now I can pick everybody off. Excellent. Not dead yet. Okay, that definitely needs to be burned, but I don't have a candle. Ah. Come on. Block the way. Ah, darn it. Where is Dungeon 2? There it is. 
and just kill these guys now. See if I can get some goodies back. Alright, perfect. Now, I think I remember I need to have bombs for Dungeon 2. Alright, let's give it a look, chat. I don't really like the gaudy color of those statues there. Snakes. Oh, there's a timer. I'm doing alright so far. I got one extra heart container. Excellent. I still got one key, but uh, let's check the not key pass first so I can get make sure I get everything. Whatever, I got a heart. Oh, give me that. Okay, that opens on all enemy kills. Oh wow, I can't believe I hit that one. Perfect. Give me that. Having extra keys is good, you never know. And I came from the right side, so let's go down here. Oops. A little weird in this D-pad. Oh, okay, that's just that. I've looped around, I got the keys, and so let's go over there. The enemies won't respawn. So far, so good. Only 20 minutes, and we're already at Dungeon 2. Still take forever to find the freaking second dungeon, but the third one's not hard to find at all. These guys, yeah, these guys die from the boomerang. That's how weak they are. Compass. Now we know where to go. Alright, Link. Get a move on. You gotta save Zelda by collecting that Triforce. That looked a little glitchy. What happened there? That didn't look right, chat. Like, I didn't hit that last one. Now yeah, let me grab that. Perfect. It's not a glitch. Uh, hang on. That one was sealed, wasn't it? But I can go there at any point. Let me just check up first. Checking you out. Enemies are roaring. They can't stop you. I don't remember this room or enemy at all. Oh, there I got hit. Well, I got hearts back. Uh, did I, wait? Did the key spawn up, like spawn just beneath me? I think I picked it up without realizing. It's just a bunch of fireball sprites, yeah. Free bombs. Bats die the boomerang. I need to have bombs because I'm pretty sure the boss of this place is King Dodongo. This game does recycle bosses a few times. Like, I'm pretty sure the level 1 boss shows up at, like, level 7 for some reason. Oh, lagged a bit. Perfect. Yeah, outside of playing this myself, like, 10 to 15 years ago, I've probably, like, maybe seen, like, a speedrun, but, like, half paying attention to it, so. I think I'm accidentally going towards the boss. I wasn't checking the locked doors yet. Come on now. Got him. More bombs are good, but I can only hold eight of them, which kind of sucks. Oh, there he is already? Okay. Damn it. Figuring out what to do with this guy. If I hadn't played Ocarina of Time, I would have had no idea how to fight this guy. Like, the game just doesn't really give you an indication that you're supposed to, um, do that. <laughs> I think, actually, no, there's an old man in this dungeon that says something like, King Dodongo dislikes smoke. Yeah, there it is. You just, as, soon as, you, as soon as I say that. Alright, so I gotta go back in, because I need the dungeon item. Well, I don't think I need Dungeon 2's item, but... I passed a bunch of locked doors, because I wanted to, I thought that was the way forward. Oh, great, now the enemies are back. I guess that is a hint. 
probably because I don't remember this dungeon as much. Oh well. I wonder if, like, there's some translation issues with this game. Like, I wonder if it's easier to understand crap in Japanese. Oops. Hang on. Because, um, they were able to, like, get more information on the screen with less characters. And in the localization, obviously, like, they're still limited by the cart space. I'd imagine. Mm-hmm. More bombs. That's what I wanted. Uh... Oh, wait, what? Why'd he die? It happened again. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> What's going on with that? Ah, oh, there's the map. Okay. We gotta get everything, and I need rupees anyway, so don't mind doing this. Hmm. Nothing to push here. Some rooms have a designated leader enemy. Really? I don't remember that. <laughs> you can't tell what the leader is, but alright. That's interesting. I don't remember that, like, at all. Perfect. I want rupees because I really want to get that blue ring as fast as I can. It looks like a glitch, but isn't. Oh. I think this is where I get the, the second boomerang. Wanted to do that. Okay, now I got the, the magical boomerang. So if you're like me, you've uh, probably gone through the whole game without picking up the boomerang in Dungeon 2, so you had the bad one. <laughs> you can't go back to the old one once you get this one. Does this one have like an, a better benefit? Or does it just go further? I actually don't even have a, no. I have no idea what the difference is. I just thought maybe I should get it. So I think I've seen everything in here except the dungeon hint, which just cost me a key to get into. Right? It's just the old man that says King Dodongo doesn't like smoke. He's near the end, so I may as well just leave. Just goes further. Eh. Oh well. Oops. Okay. So so far we're at six hearts. Chat. Two dungeons down. I'm doing better than I thought I would. Let me get here. Okay. Can I get enough rupees for uh, the blue ring before dungeon three? Not sure. I can keep looking for secrets, though. Well, I'm planning to just go through as many Zelda games as I can this summer. There we go. I'm not going through several today. This ain't a speedrun, that's for sure. Oh my god. Oh well. Make sure I save, make sure I save, make sure I save. Okay, good. What does, um, what does that number mean? The amount of times I've died? Okay, it is? Alright. So is there really a difference in the ending if you have a zero death? I'm certainly not going to try that. Well, I keep my rupees. That's good. So there's not really a it's not really a bad thing to die, is it? Fortunately, you don't start with all your health back, which is annoying. Hang on, I think there was something down here. I don't really want to play the CDI games, maybe, but it's not on my to-do list. Oopsie. Stuck in the corner. Meet the old man at the grave. He's talking about the magical sword. So, chat, I remember reading when I was young that the magical sword is called the Master Sword in the Japanese version, and that's where the name comes from. Is that true? Or is that just, like, something that's just fake? I have no idea. Maybe I could play Zelda CDI for the memes. The, piece, the fan-made PC version could be fun. rewind time. Oh, there's a rewind feature in this. Hang on. Yeah, I can I can rewind if I want, but uh not going to do that. So dungeon 3 is just down here and to the right, I believe. 
Now, was it this area that had a hidden thing here? Let me check. Okay. That went right through you, dirty. Oh! Right. I tapped it from the front there. Oh well. Make sure I hit save. Yep, okay, that is my death count. I don't really care how many times I die. This ain't no speedrun. Come to think of a chat, was there a bombable wall right there? Can't remember. Nope. Thought maybe there was one there. Every damn location looks the same, so... Oops. There it was, closer to the middle. Oh, hang on. Let me go back then. Okay. Valuable heart containers could be found, or something else. You see what I mean about checking random random places? Oh, no. Was it? Are you sure? Hmm? It's just money. Middle of the screen? No, it's always on, it's always on the walls. Hang on. Oh, it's doing that as a grid space thing. Hang on. Let me try that. No, I don't think there's one there. Top middle of the screen. Oh. Wait, you mean right here? Hang on. Oh, crying out loud. I feel like I bombed that exact spot three times. Whatever. You see what I mean? How would you know this without, like, a copy of Nintendo Power back in the day? <laughs> you wouldn't, right? I feel like that. I, I feel like I tried that spot. <laughs> Maybe I was just a few pixels off. Oh, well. Money's money. Let's get it. The game is harsh with bomb placement. You can only carry eight bombs at a time. So that's fun. Um, so I could go right to Dungeon 3, or I could get the, the blue ring first, which would be good. I think it's it doubles your defense, or is it 25%? And you can't get the red ring until, like, it's literally hidden in the last dungeon, so... You need to have the Triforce to even enter there. The game did come with a map back in the day. Did it? Really? That's a little cheesy. Was it one of those things where they only did it for, like, the English version? Maybe it was, like, a copy protection thing. Okay. I think the real question is, why are all the citizens of Hyrule just kind of, like... Oops. Kind of, like, just have themselves holed up in caves. I mean... Well, then again, Zelda 1 does take place on, like, the bad timeline. Which, yeah, funny story, chat. So, when it comes to Zelda timelines, uh, there's like there's like a split at Ocarina of Time. There's the the child world that Young Link goes back to, the adult world that uh, Adult Link saved, and then there's like a third one where Link gets killed by Ganon. And apparently, Zelda one and two take place on that timeline. And if you notice that. I think it's all the games that are on, like, the Hero is Defeated timeline. They're all games where Ganon only appears in his beast form. So I think, like, the lore is that, like, as, like, a last-ditch effort when when Ganon wins, they just, like, seal him in his beast form in the Sacred Realm. And that's also where Link to the Past comes in. There we go. Whoops. Ah. Okay. Let's hit you there. Housing economies in shambles here. Yeah, I guess it is. Well, I th I don't have close to 250 yet, so let's just go in. And let me not bother with those statues this time. What are the living statues called again? I don't remember. Zelda 1, 2, Link to the Past, Link Between Worlds, Oracle Games, Link's Awakening are all on the death timeline. Yeah. Oh, Link's, uh, palette changed slightly here. Look at this, like, 
green and pink color. Armos, thank you. That's what they're called. Okay. Oops. Let's take them out slowly and be careful. Chat, uh, quick question. How many hearts does it take to get the next sword? I, rem I think I remember where it is. It's like up sort of toward the north near water. Like a w past the waterfall, I think. But um, I know you need to have a certain amount of hearts. Like the old man just says, like, master using it and you can have it. But by that, he means you have to have a certain amount of max hearts, which, um, like, you have no way of just knowing that. <laughs> so weird. Here we go. I think Zelda 2 is the last one chronologically. Yeah, w Zelda 1 and 2 take place at the end of that timeline. From what I understand, I think Breath of the Wild is, like, it's designed so that it could take place at the end of any timeline. Or rather, they all just kind of converge to it anyway. I think that's what they're going for. I'm not sure. And chat, I forget. Um, I think someone said that the Link from Link's Awakening is the same one from Link to the Past. Is that true? Or is it like the Oracle games? I don't remember how that works. But I know that like the, for the, the Game Boy Link is like more than one game. Not, I don't mean the Oracle games, though. Of course, that's the same Link. Uh, these guys are annoying. Go. You can't hit them from the front, and they just kind of walk around randomly, uh, and they do so much damage. Hang on, this would be a good idea to use bombs. How are arrows against these guys? Maybe that would be worth trying. Well, I got bombs back, so that was worth it. They're immune to arrows? Okay. I have uh, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks downloaded on my Wii U, so I'll be able to stream them using the touchscreen stuff properly. So I'm looking forward to that. They're definitely going to happen, too. Yeah, I know Zelda 2 is the same Link as this game, because it's a direct sequel. But, uh... Same Link for Link to the Past, Oracles, and Awakening. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's go this way for now. Dark nuts are annoying to fight. Oh, I hate rooms like this. You know why? Because the map is gonna, like, display it like you can come and go here however you want. Oh, they know what they're doing. They know what they are doing. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Okay, I guess I'll go in here. I saved a key by not going to the old man hint in Dungeon 2. Oh, okay. Probably best to spend some bombs, because this room could get a little, little wild here. Oh, okay. Oh! I should save some bombs. I remember there's... Oops. Damn it. Uh, Alright, you should go for bombs. There's one boss that's really easy if you know his weakness. Oh my god, really? Okay, good. Um, it's like there's one boss where, like, he hates sound, so you just play the recorder and he dies. Okay. Well, I got a heart back. I have played the ZS Zeldas before. I liked Phantom Hourglass a lot. I beat it with only three hearts back when I was young. Oh, okay, this is a little rude. Ooh, get out of the way. Heck yes, chat. Was worth the risk. No leader. No leader. I believe that Skyward Sword and uh, Minish Cap take place but before uh, Ocarina of Time. It's funny because, like, Minish Cap actually has the, like, remnants of, like, the Sky Citizens from Skyward Sword. Oh, damn it. Alright, there's the raft. This lets me access a few things, so we'll take that. So, I've picked up the dungeon items in the first three dungeons now, that's good. Alright.
Wait, bombs against dark nuts are weird. It can it counts as an attack in the direction you were facing when you drop one, which is why they sometimes don't take damage from it. Really? I didn't know that. That sounds annoying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. Get the key. Okay. Okay, my audio is still good, good chat. I haven't really been paying attention to it. I've been focused on the game. Oh, wow, I keep the bombs. That's nice of them. I have no idea where I'm going. I don't remember what the side paths even were. Okay. Okay. I have, like, vague memories of playing Zelda games, at, like, um, in the summer at my grandma's place while, like, watching, like, cartoon marathons on TV. I think I also had, like, my grandma also had, like, a VHS of, um, the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> like, the Bob Hoskins one. And, uh, I remember watching that on repeat for a lot, of, like, a lot of times over and over. I'm gonna get them grouped up. Nice. Nobody likes dark nuts. Damn it. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. I don't understand these guys, but very obviously they have a thing, some kind of AI thing that makes them turn towards you pretty often. I wish I found the map already. Okay. Um, I would like to play Four Swords Adventures. Um, I can't really record off my GameCube, though, so I'll have to, like, figure something out for that. I like Four Swords Adventures. Can't really play multiplayer with it. Alright, it's just this room again. Wait, no, this is a different room, isn't it? Didn't I kill all the enemies here? And I got bombs? I guess I was too many screens away, so they respawn. I thought it was when I leave the dungeon. Let me try this. Yeah, it's the same room. Okay, let me go back over this way. <clears throat> Even if you don't have a Game Boy connector, Four Swords Adventures has, like, a fake Game Boy screen for when you go in caves. It's pretty much how a lot of people played it, because no one had the Game Boy connector. At least where I lived. Okay... Okay, he went to the wall for a second. Nothing? Okay, good. Come on. Okay, no item drop. So far, so good, chat. So far, so good. Wait, I went back to the entrance. I'm lost without the damn map right now. Oh, and they automatically respawned already. Alright then, fine, I'll leave them. I didn't realize I got that warped around. Every room looks the same in this game. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Alright, we're back here, I guess. Let's open these. Check where they go. Okay, there it is. Okay, that's definitely a that's definitely a shape. And that is all I will say about it. There is Armos here. Er, sorry, the dark nuts. Come on now. I have one bomb left, I don't want to waste it on them. Damn it. Okay, heart. Okay. Oh, I got stuck on the corner. There 
we go. Okay, I got bombs back. I will take that. It's the inverted one. I, yeah, but tell that to YouTube. <laughs> okay. Hang on. I believe that all the maps in this game actually do fit into like a clean square if you put them all together. Some kind of thing they did to save uh, space. Oh, it's you. The the mandala, I think it's called. Uh. It means wholeness, wholeness in Asian cultures. Okay, it's just you, you know what you know what's going through my brain, chat. You know what's going through my brain. Come on. This thing is an annoying little boss to always fight in uh, Hyrule Warriors. Damn it! All right. If I hit save, okay, if I hit continue, it would put me at the front of the dungeon. I see. All right, that's fine. I need to, um, hang on. No, I don't need to hide it with the Teddy Curse Sprite. I'm just saying. There we go. I should probably go for the blue ring now and also farm some bombs. Uh, okay, that's a new one. I don't need the blue candle yet. I'd rather get the blue ring. Let's do that. I should go for try the better sword, yeah. Um... I have to go north through a few different ways first. Wait, I already have the raft, so I can um, check this stuff. Is this level four? I think it's four. Yeah, it is, okay. So, I mean, all that's waiting for me is the boss fight at Dungeon 3. That's annoying. Um, uh, but still, I gotta do that. I want the heart container from beating the boss, but bombs are the quickest way to kill that stupid thing. I'll do more Zelda randos at some point, but I wanted to play some regular Zelda games for a bit now. Oops. Hang on. Let's see if I can get that sword. Warden Sword is weak and weenie. You only have it when it's dangerous and you're alone. Now I need to go th north through the desert, don't I? I don't have any bombs to use anything on. Oh, there's the little potatoes. They're coming down. Ah. Walk into the waterfall. Pay me and I'll talk. No. What are the different options if I, uh... Oops. Like, what is there, what's the difference between given her 5 and, um, 20? I don't remember. Okay, I think this is it. Oh, of course there's a Lionel here. A blue one. But I got a boomerang. Well, I made it. Master using it, and you can have it. Okay, it's enough. I got it. The old man just died passing on his sword to me. So you can either kill the Lionel, or you can um, have the stepladder to go over the, the water. And level 5 is actually here. I remember the hint. Go up, up the mountain. There it is. Oh, come on. I was drinking something. No! Whatever. Whatever. I know it's level 5, I wasn't gonna do anything there anyway. For now, let's keep, um, I got the sword, so let's go ahead and get the, uh, blue ring before I go beat Dungeon 3. I need more bomb drops, too, so... 
I remember where the magical sword is. Sorry, did someone answer me if it's called the Master Sword in Japanese? I don't think I missed- I may have missed it in chat if someone knew. I think I remember reading it in like a gaming magazine or something. Because the game lists it in North America... There we go. As the Magical Sword, but I think in Japan it's called the Master Sword. Or maybe that's... I don't know. Could be like an internet rumor for all I freaking know. Pretty sure I need power bracelet for that there. <clears throat> need some drops. But yeah, chat. We're taking this slow. We're having a good time. It's gonna be comfy. I want these to be some comfy streams where we just enjoy some video games. There's not really a set order I need to play them in. I'm probably gonna play Zelda 2 after this, though. Thank you for subbing there, friend. I don't wanna have to rush to the end to feel like I'm trying to just, like, get through them all as fast as possible. I managed to download a ton of stuff on the Wii U for this, but... The NES emulator on, on the Wii U is actually kind of bad. Hang on. I could break that open, I'm pretty sure. I have no bombs. What am I doing? Um, apparently, for the Wii and Wii U, um, they have this, like, kind of filter that just darkens the whole game as, like, a, a blanket way to cut down on, like, uh, flashing effects. The Switch Online one's just better for... Because it cuts down on the specific flashing effects instead of, like, um... Putting some weird... Like, making the whole game look dark. I'm gonna die again. You can kill the blue ones one hit now. Damn you. Hold still. Hold still. Stop moving. Uh, probably just gonna play the N64 one. We could probably play the 3DS ones sometime, but it doesn't matter. It's easier to just play the N64 ones. There, it got me. And no rupees acquired, or bombs dropped, as usual. Make a save so I don't lose my progress. I'm close to 250, come on, game. I need him dropping. There we go. Oh, come on now. Even some games I've already streamed, I want to revisit, like, the Oracle games. Minish Cap is a lot of fun. That's such a charming-looking game. I love, like, I love that sprite work in it a lot. Okay. I don't really have a ranking of her Zelda games. I don't really do that type of thing. Oh, come on now. Still no drops, come on. At least there's a fairy fountain nearby here, so... Can one shot the red moblins now? <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. No! Get out of the damn way. <laughs> he stopped when I didn't want him to. It is so easy to just die in this game. That is why I want the blue ring right now. And I also need bombs, please. Give me bombs. Ah, oh, there goes that. Luckily, I can just go heal. Every time. Let me do that. Fairy Fountain's good. What's some other Zelda games, chat? Like, if you ask, I probably have it. Um, I have Twilight Princess HD and Wind Waker HD. I'm probably gonna stream those versions off my Wii U, because it's the easiest way to do it. Enemies ain't coming back, so let me go around. Um, I got the DS games taken care of. Game Boy games. I have... I want to play Link's Awakening Original and the remake, because I've not played really played either. I guess I'll go over here now. And, yeah, I've done some randomizers, and I want to do more randos, but I just want to, like, play the Zelda games again. Like, it's been forever since I played this game, and I want to play a rando of it as well. I've not beaten Adventure of Link. That one is going to be, uh, I'm gonna have to ask chat what the hell to do. Because I have zero clue what I'm doing in that one. Okay... Yeah, I walked right into those arrows. I don't know what I expected. So, how many hearts is required for, um... Uh, for the Magical Sword? Was it... Ten? I don't remember. Oh, I actually remember this! Um, yeah, this is like an endless place, but... North... West... 
south, west. And that's the trick. Hey, look at that. I didn't forget it. Uh-oh, Lionel's. And here's the Hyrule Graveyard. <laughs> the only remnants of civilization. In Hyrule, apparently. Now, one of these graves has the, uh... The old man with the magical sword. I think it's either this one or the previous screen. Oh, well, that's nice. Now I can check them all without consequence. This is gonna... The game can't really handle this so well, though. Wait, I need the, I need the power bracelet. Yeah, it's this one. I can't move it without the power bracelet. I forgot about that. Alright, just have to ignore that. Oh, there's Lionels. Lionels are scary. It's one screen up, actually. Then what was that one? Did I just hit the sprite limit? Maybe I did. Oh, it's this one. Oh, never mind. Yep, there it is. Master using it, and you can have it. I think I just hit the sprite limit, yeah. I actually don't have Link's crossbow training. I don't know how I'd play that. So yeah, that's the best sword in the game, but I need a certain amount of hearts. Hyrule Warriors, I have like 285 hours on. I've been playing that a ton. It's another reason I wanted to play Zelda. That game is a lot of fun, but my backlog of other Warriors games is now growing because I'm st I don't want to s I want to keep playing that one until I'm done with it. I have Age of Calamity, I have Fire Emblem Warriors, I have uh, Persona 5 Strikers, and now there's another Fire Emblem Warriors coming out. I want to play them because they're fun, but my goodness, those games are so repetitive that I could not sell anyone on them if I tried. I'm like, you either love it or you hate it. It's a repetitive grind that's either fun or boring as hell. There we go. Yeah. Okay, there's my bombs. Good. 233. Um, I play the recorder at this empty lake. I've never played the Tingle games, actually. I f they were never released in English, but they have a European... Well, the first one has a European English release, and the second one has a fan translation. I should totally stream those. I haven't even thought about those games in years. That would be fun. It's like Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land or something. That could be fun. Aren't they... They're like some kind of, like, quirky adventure game, right? Here we go. There we are. There's two of them. Let's see here. Oops. And they just had no faith that it would sell over here. Yeah, because they weren't... Yeah, you don't know about them because they weren't released in English. At least the first one got European English released, I'm very sure. Uh, still not enough rupees, come on. I don't want to, like, take a chance in here. When I could just have, like, um... When I could just have, like, you know, more defense. But the rupees aren't dropping, chat. They ain't dropping. I'm so close, though. I just need 13 more. Ah, whatever. At least I know where level 4 is. I can go there right away. Oops. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, chat. It doesn't matter if I die. It doesn't matter if I die. I don't care what my death count is. Let me get a sip of my hot cocoa. All right. Uh, where does Tingle's uh, Rosy Rupee Land fit into the Zelda timeline, though? I'm guessing the answer is it doesn't, but... <laughs> probably shouldn't play it uh, as the third game. Hang on. Come on, chat. Let's get some Rupee Drops. Twelve more. Yeah, I know if you die inside a dungeon, hitting continue takes you to the start of the dungeon. I wanted to make sure I saved, though, and I also wanted to go farm rupees, because I ran out of bombs fighting the, uh, the plant thing. Oh, come on now. Six more. Six more. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hit him. 
I don't remember what boss dungeon four is. Come on now. Five more. I think there's a burnable bush on that uh, other screen there. There's no bombable walls on the bottom part of the screen. They're always uh, like, it's always like a, a northern entrance. There we go. I can't remember if I can push any of those. Maybe, but I think I need the bracelet for it. I'm surprised I was able to enter the grave without the power bracelet. Come on now. There is, it's a heart. Okay, I'll do that when I get the candle then. For now, first, I want the, I want the ring. The defense is too important. But you know, if the moblins could just freaking drop what I want, that'd be great. Fantastic, finally. Took forever to get them remaining rupees. Let's go get them, chat. Is this the only shop in the land that sells the blue ring? I can't recall if there's a second one. But it's obviously a kind of a secret shop. Heart. Yeah, it's just this one. So is this the only shop that also sells the meat as well? Because the meat's required for, like, level s Dungeon 7, I'm still pretty sure. Okay. So, it should automatically be on. Yep. There it goes. Subtracting. So now my character's blue and I have more defense. I'll take less damage. Perfect. Perfect, chat. Let's go. Let's go beat up that boss now at level 3. I got the item, which is the raft, but I want the heart container for beating him. Oops, wrong way. Gotta go down one more. Where was level 7, now that I think about it? I think level 6 is, like, in the lake when I have the recorder, but... This should be fine now. All the, the shopkeepers have, like, instead of green, they have blue as well, because my palette's changed. Well, now we get in rupees. So, I didn't take the northern path. That leads to a uh, dead end. I may as well go there. I got extra keys. May as well see what this gets me. Push. Did you get the sword from the old man on top of the mount or the waterfall? Does that answer your question? There you go. Weird how these old guys just live in the dungeon for some reason. Get the sword from the old man on top of the waterfall? Don't worry, I did. It's just a hint. That's all that was here. A hint. Now let's go get him. Okay. Uh, I need to save all my bombs. But I've got... Oh, nice, they die in two hits now. Okay, this is mo a lot more manageable until the blue ones show up. Because they were definitely taking me, like, three, four hits for sure. I mean, not like there's any other houses to really live in Hyrule right now. There's villages in Zelda 2. Um, I wonder if that's because that's when people started rebuilding, after you saved the land in the first game. That's why there's no villages in Zelda 1. Okay. Oh, he's gonna- he's gonna collide with me. Ah! Oh. oh, nice, I got him. So you can get all of those with one bomb if you really, really time it well. But, yeah, that boss is either annoying as hell or a joke. Nice. Looks like it cuts down the flashing in this section, so that's good. Alright, 
chat. Now let's go right to Dungeon 4, I guess. I got the sword, I got the armor. Well, the ring. It's kind of a shame, though, because you're going to be seeing Blue Link for the majority of the game now. <laughs> Not Green Link. The raft doesn't let you get that random heart container out on the the east side. You need the stepladder for that, which I'm pretty sure is in this dungeon. So let's do that. In we go. I believe this is where... Wait a second. Isn't this where... Do, do I need the candle for this dungeon? I think I do. I think I, I'm actually... There's This is where dark rooms start showing up. I might have to go back and grind rupees. I just now remembered that. Also, this dungeon is like pea color, chat. Pea dungeon. The same set of statues every time. Oh, loud truck going by. Bats. Uh, before we go through locked doors, let's keep following the other one. Mountain Dew Dungeon. Ooh, nice. Turn just in time. Nothing there. Yeah, I need the candle. It's like a little maze. I can't see the layout because I don't have the candle. Ugh, oh, that's annoying. An item you buy from the frickin' shop. Yeah, that's good. Alright. This should be fine. How, how far can I push this? I think there's water blocking the top line here. This entire, like, yeah, this entire line right here is just water. They can't reach me. So I use a key to get in here. All right, I, I'm surprised I made it through that. Genuinely surprised. Ooh, nice, hit them all. Trick shot. Now let's go this way. Oh, those things. Wait, can they take my starting shield? I don't actually remember. I don't think they can. Okay. Those things hit me and I can't use my sword for a bit. Push that, and this should be the step ladder. Can't lose starting shield? Okay, good. I don't know why those things only want to eat the shield specifically. So if there's one tile of water, I can now use the step ladder to cross it. That's good. That's real good. Nobody likes the like-likes. They put this room right here, which is kind of clever, to teach immediately teach you how it works. But of course, if you use it like this, it doesn't really work. But it's nice. All right, let's go here. And it's dark again. There's the map. If I'm not mistaken, this entire room I can't... I, I can't access the other side, can I? It's like surrounded by like two tiles of water. I'm pretty reasonably sure. I have to go back. I think I, I... It's weird, like I think I remember what to do here, even though I don't have the candle. <laughs> I'm kind of just feeling it out. So yeah, there's one tile of water there blocking me in. So let's just go through that, like I thought. Go. 
Okay, got ya. Gotta take out the enemies, because I don't know if they're gonna drop a key or something. Nope. So now if I go over here, I should be able to reach the map. Because I'm like, I'm like on the outer side. Oh, oh, my finger tap select. Select, so I pause the game. Alright. What shape is that supposed to be? Like, I'm pretty sure the door is just, like, surrounded by water to the point where even, like, the the stepladder can't take you anywhere. Oh, goodness. Oh, nice. I wasted an extra bomb, but that works out. Walk into the waterfall. I already figured that out, Grandpa. <laughs> Looks like I'm heading towards where the boss is. I think that one locked door I passed at the start was just for the compass. So I don't think I need to go back. I may as well save the key. Uh, crap. Now I wish I had the candle here. This is definitely the only way forward, so... There's gotta be... Okay, there it is. I can't believe I'm doing this without the candle. Uh-oh. Well, they're gonna make sure it's... I stopped it, apparently. The boss is, like, one more room ahead. Nice. This was easy. So that sound definitely is the boss's roaring. I guess I wasn't... was mistaken. I am doing way better than I thought it would be. It, I, it took me, like, weeks to get this far in the in the game when I first played it. <laughs> this is kind of absurd. Stepladder's automatic, yeah. Now what's this? Oh, this thing. I think it's called, like, Gleok or something? Um, I, I know this boss actually has, like, a... It comes back in, like, Phantom Hourglass in, like, a new version, which is cool. It's a twin-headed dragon, if you can't tell. Uh-oh. Sort of, like, also inspired the Turtle Rock boss in Link to the Past. Okay. It is called Gleok? Alright. Alright, we did it. And, yeah, that one little offshoot, the, that one bottom right room, that was the compass. It's a locked door I passed. Nice. Oh, jeez, I might be able to get the Master Sword really quickly. I'm half done the game already. Oh, give me a break. Don't. Okay. First, let's go get that, um... Uh, I should save up for the candle, because I'll definitely be needing it in the next dungeon now. Pretty sure paying the lady in the waterfall is how I learned to go up the mountain. There we go. It's only been an hour and I'm this far. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I was expecting this to be, like, take me so much longer. I'm pretty happy with myself right now. I have more knowledge skill, but I haven't touched the same game in, like, an eternity. Uh, right. We're going to the right so I can get the, uh, the step... Uh, use the step ladder to get that heart container. And we're also gonna farm some rupees to get the candle. Ah, oh, darn it. Gaming. We gaming now. Damn it. I was trying to outrun the Zora, and that happens. The Zoras are the worst damn thing in the world. Darn it. Come on now. Well, I got my rupees, can't complain. I think there's, like, another hidden wall here, but that's a lot of, like, tiles to bomb. Don't tempt me, game. I'm not gonna go for it. Alright. I mean, there's also a lot of places you can wander on the overworld, and I kind of have, like, a vague idea where the each dungeon is. Got the Zora. Nice. Second row of hearts. Uh, how many is per row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> 
Pardon me, I like had a hiccup sneeze in the middle of that while counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. I can count. And this isn't like a wrap thing, so I'm double checking that. Hmm. And this goes. What's this? Oh! Take anyone you want. Nice. I have ten hearts now. Right? Hang on, I'm, I'm panicking and looking to make sure. Can I go get the Master Sword? Magical Sword? I I mean, there's no harm in trying. I need to get rupees anyway. You need 12 for it? Okay. I believe there's a- someone said there's a heart I can get with uh, the blue candle. Cave entrance looks displeased. I remember being so excited when I got my first, like, uh, or rather my second row of hearts. Look at us go, chat. Look at us go. What's up here? There's a heart here? Wait, you saying this wall right here? Let's try here. No way. Oh. No. Did you mean the last one? Anyway, I needed those rupees anyway, so I'll take that. Whoops. Well, no, I needed those rupees for the candle, so that worked out just fine. Um... I vaguely recall one around here, too. I'm wasting my bombs, but... Who cares? What's this? I don't remember this. Mm-hmm. Let's play a money-making game. No. Left screen with big blob rock. I vaguely recall what you mean. Isn't one of those how you get into uh, Ganon's, like, you know, like, not Ganon's tower, Ganon's dungeon, I guess. Hang on, is it, like, up here? Let me try here. This is a power bracelet thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think one of these... Oh, wow, I got it first. A secret is in the tree at the dead end. Wow, chat. That narrows it down. Let me just go to the tree at the dead end in Hyrule in Zelda 1. <laughs> Where else would I go? I know what tree he's actually talking about, but my goodness, is that the most vague hint in the damn world? <laughs> oh, good. So, now that I have the blue candle, what is it replaced by? Very specific. Oh, he still sells it? I don't remember that. I don't remember the benefit of the big shield in this game at all. Link just looks like he's walking around holding the Bible. <laughs> That's what this tiny shield looks like. He's here to preach the good word. Oh, is this it? I think I... Oh, I was gonna try this, but I didn't have bombs left. Okay, um... Which side? I only have one bomb left. Left or right? Okay... Right side? Alright, hang on. Do you have this, any idea how... Little, that narrows it down. Okay, should be safe to bomb here, then. Mm-hmm. Yep, here we go. One more heart, then, right? Yeah! So with the candle, I should be able to get a heart right now, so I can, um... So I can get the Master Sword. I'm gonna keep calling it the Master Sword, because why not? After the events of the death timeline, um, old man at the grave just had it. You know what, chat? You know what it is? You know what, you know, you know what our headcanon can be? That grave is Link. Like Ocarina of Time Link, because he died, and he's given the Master Sword to you there. Mind blown. That can be our headcanon. <laughs> That's why it's in the grave. Hang on. It's around here somewhere. Okay, over there. Wait, is one of these also it? 
It's once per screen, hang on. No, it wasn't this one. You know what'll really make me, like, lose my mind playing this? I'm sure the sec doing a stream of the second quest would be hilarious. We can go with that. We can go for sure. I would definitely be down to try second quest. I always wanted to do that. Okay, there's the bush. A, well, a bush. There's plenty of them. Wait, what? Oh, this is level eight? What? <laughs> I remember that now. Oh, yeah, it's just level 8 beneath the tree next to level 2. Alright. That's funny. They make that tree stick out. But, uh, there were other trees to burn. Hang on. I want to get that heart. Uh, was there something I could burn here? There was. Spoilers, I'm skipping ahead. Got my warp whistle going. I think one of these trees could be burned. I might be thinking of a different screen. What do you think, chat? I'm very far from the heart. Yeah, I figured as much. It's alright, though. Let me just, um... I got my bombs refilled and I'm getting rupees, so that's okay. Is there another bombable wall down here? Oh, rupees. You know what? Not a bad trip. Not a bad trip. I feel like this stretch here has another hidden wall, but I can't remember, and there's a lot of tiles to, like, bomb here. Okay. That. The candle does damage enemies, too. Think it's just a gambling game? Okay, I'll ignore it then. This one had a heart container. So yeah, that would make sense that it's a gambling game on the other one. Rupee drops suddenly happening. Okay. Now then. Uh, still far from the heart, I imagine. I don't think I'm even close to it right now. Hang on, I think one of those could be burnt. It's kind of funny, because in Hyrule Warriors on the adventure map, they base one on the original Zelda's map, and, like, they keep the secrets kind of the same, but I, I cannot for the life of me even remotely remember anything from Hyrule Warriors for that. It's hard to explain if you haven't played that game, but yeah. There we go. I'm not even remotely paying attention to where they put things on that mode. All my memories right now are just from, uh... Me just, uh... Recalling, like, when, when I played this one summer and beat it. Hang on. That needs power bracelet. Hmm. Oh, here's a fairy fountain. Let me get a drink here, chat. Let me just put my Genesis controller down for a moment. Get a cold drink. Delicious. <clears throat> Don't we all need one of those? Um... Well, there's another tree I can burn down that's in the, um... It's in the, like, uh, the west side of the map, I think. Can't remember. Come on now. Only being able to use one candle per screen is annoying. That's why the red one's good. It lets you, like, search for them secrets more efficiently. How far from the heart have I ended up? Let's see. Probably the answer is way too far. I don't suppose this would break. Nope. 
can't recall if there's anything down here I could burn. Was there? Hang on, which one leads to the like this like the lost woods? Uh, let me check up here. All right. Yeah, I guess actually that's true. This little screen right here just is Lost Woods, isn't it? How do I leave here without doing the correct thing, though? I think I just leave the east way. No, there's still definitely slow down when there's too many enemies in this game. That's still there. Um, let me check going down this way. Heart's not far from first dungeon. Okay, I can check that out. What's over here, though? Well, there's bombs. I picked them up, though. I don't remember what this is. Oh. I think she just tells you to go northwest and southwest like I remembered. And this goes into, yeah, this. I'm one heart away from getting the next sword, and I really want that to happen before I go to the next dungeon. So let me go back over to this side of the map. And I think... Oh, wait, no, I think I know what to check. Hang on. It was up and around this way in one of the corners, wasn't it? I think. Near the first dungeon or something. Oh, damn Zora. Oh. Boy, this is really ex He just sells the monster bait for, like, 40 more rupees. Sells the shield for a cheaper price, but that wasn't what I was looking for. Alright, that wasn't it. Oh, right, I forgot my own fire hurts me. Duh. Okay, so how, how close am I to this heart? That one heart is very important, and I'm just not sure where to, where to get it. The screen right of the shop? Hang on. Uh... Shop there, okay. So one of these has a heart? Alright then. I don't think I knew about this one. I, I Like, I thought you were talking about that shop there. But that clearly wasn't it, so it must be... Hang on. Which side is it? Alright, let's just start on the right side here and burn two at a time. Okay. Two. Alright. There we go. Hang on. What's that noise? Hang on, I think a package may have just arrived for me, chat. It might be someone at the door. Let me check that, just in case. No, there's nothing there. There's nothing there, chat. <clears throat> Pardon me. I think that was just, I think that was just the neighbors coming home. <laughs> And they were being kind of loud. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I messed that up. Uh, it was this one? Let me try here. Nope. I think I was- I'm too far ahead now. I was distracted. Ugh, expecting packages today and I didn't want to miss that. There it is. Alright, that was worth it. How would anyone find that? The map included with the game, I guess. 
All right then, chat, we got it. Let's go get the sword, and then let's go start cleaning up this damn this damn whole game. There's exploration, and then there's trying every like uh, tree in the game because you're bored. <laughs> I know the secrets already, so I don't have to waste time paying the old lady. I know to go up, up the mountain. I know to walk into the waterfall. I know to go northwest, southwest. So that's a time saver, that's for sure. Northwest. Hmm. Southwest. And now we're through Lost Woods, chat. Don't kill me, Lionels. Don't kill me. Luckily, I don't need the power bracelet to get in here. This should be enough. It better be enough. Oops, wrong one. Master using it. And you can have it. Now we just have a slight bit of red on the sprite, but it does more damage. Alright, chat. Best sword unlocked. Funny how it has a different sprite than uh, the other two. You think they would just palette swap to save space again? They make it look fancy. I can one shot Lionels now. Red Lionels, anyway. Now that's powerful. It's magical. Again, we'll just say that that was Link's ghost giving us the Master Sword. We'll say that. I mean, Ocarina of Time, Link, his ghost has shown up before in Twilight Princess. He teaches Twilight Princess Link how to use super moves. AKA, like, one good move and the rest are kind of useless. Oh, come on now. Um, where was I going now? Level 5. I need to go north. Come on. Is the Master Sword gone in this timeline? I'm not quite sure. It was in Link to the Past, and that's in this timeline. I've not played Link Between Worlds if something happens there. Which is another game I need to get to playing. I don't think there's anything else I need to burn. Um, wait, wait a second, chat. <clears throat> Pardon me, actually. Hang on. I had to clear my throat. Sorry. So there's four more heart containers to fill the top. Does that mean the last four, uh, five, six, seven, eight? Those are the remaining hearts. Are there extra hearts in this game? I'm not actually sure. I never questioned that. Let's go to it anyway. Lionels are scary. Zelda 1 Link can just one-shot Lionels. Breath of the Wild Link gotta do some fancy stuff with it. <laughs> Alright. Pardon me, I had to like cough and clear my throat a bit. Mm. Alright. Oh, that stupid thing again. Let's go now, chat. Level five. Oh, it's the bunnies. If I'm not mistaken, these things like work differently in the Japanese version because they're supposed to be sensitive to sound. So they made it so that like the, what is it like the, there was like a speaker on like the Famicom controllers or something that would affect them, I don't know. They are bunnies. The bunny could be called with a mic. They're little bun buns. Just scream at the bunnies. Like, what does that do to them, though? I got 
the best sword, so let's make it work, chat. Let's make it work. Also, this is blood water. Spooky. Um, every time I ignore the key, it's either the... It's either, like, a, a map or compass, so let's check them. Dig Dodger hates certain kinds of sound. Okay, so I need the recorder to kill the boss. This is that. This is the dungeon I was talking about. Screaming at them kills them. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. Oh, I didn't get double bomb on him. They could drop bombs. Ugh. This shouldn't be frustrating if you didn't get them all in one go. Rabbits hate sound. Don't want to scare them. Okay. Okay, these ones don't break into small jellies. I think I'm pretty much set now, chat, now aren't I? More than enough keys and we know where to go. I found level 8, but where the hell is level 7? Or, uh, no, this is level 5. We're 6 and 7. Uh, one of them is definitely... Right, the lake. I need the recorder for that from this dungeon. Okay, let's check here. Does it push a certain direction? Probably is. Come on. Where's it go? Push it to the right. Uh... Have I not tried them all by this point? Bomb the walls? What if I have don't have bombs at this part? Have I not just tried pushing them all directions? Is is it because of the timer? Um Did the timer lock me in here? I'm, I genuinely don't know. Uh I can't push any of these. think bombing these walls will do anything. Oh. Alright. What if you don't have bombs in that room? What if you use them not knowing you needed them to escape? Oh. Right that. Alright then. Then you're screwed. Oh boy. That sounds fun. Yeah, It's this guy again. <clears throat> okay. And I hope you have a second controller to open the menu. Whoopee. Alright, let's go to the key doors, since apparently the key doors aren't the way forward in this game. Oh, I almost just set the map on fire. Yeah, this is the kind of room I was talking about being in earlier. Let's have a look over here. Barely gotten started on this dungeon. go. Break them. I need to pick that up now. What other things should I save up to buy? Also, what's this dead end over here? Oh. What? Oh, the fire hit me, of course. I can also just rewind on the since it's switch online. Yeah, I guess that's true. I could do that. I could do that. Oops. Golly. Why am I not using the candle? Don't ask me why. I just wasn't. Who could have thought it would be at the end of the dungeon? There are bomb upgrades in this game? I don't remember that. Alright. 
Hang on. What is that? Yeah, do you hear that? There's like a noise coming from outside. What the hell is that? I think someone's doing something on the road with like that saw again. Luckily they're not close by. I was worried for a second. I had to, like, cancel a stream this week because, like, uh, the people, like, uh, close by were using a saw and lawnmower, like, all afternoon. Well, as long as you hear nothing, that's all that matters to me. Oh, hang on. There's no way up there. So let me see if I can bomb something. It's in the other room, then. Oh, get out of the way. No. And how do I get up there? Probably one of those, like, rooms that takes you to the other side. Well, whatever. We got what we need. It's just unmarked on the map. The bunnies keep hitting me. A secret power is said to be in the arrow. I'm not sure what he means. Nope. Can't go past him. How the hell do I get back there, then? Alright, bombs don't affect bunnies. Everyone knows that. More boomerangs. The game lags slightly with these guys. Hmm. I'll figure it out in a second. Sorry, just a little bit distracted because of my throat. Oh, come on now. These do too much damage. Boss is coming up. I don't have the thing to kill him. Must be down here once I kill these guys. The staircase would open. I hope. Bombs. Oh, I see. Probably gonna have to do this. Nope. Um. Where the hell do I go, then? How the hell do I get up there to get what I need? Don't think pushing anything here matters. I tried bombing the... thing there. I need to go back to the first room. Oh, come on. All right, let's go do it then. Oh, stuck there. Let's go make that long trek back to the start. Hmm. Hang on, I gotta put the candle on again. No game, candle. It's an early wall. We'll get to it. Everything will be okay. I don't have to kill any more enemies. I can just walk past them. Does the sword make a sound? Oops. Bumble walls make a sound. Wasn't that added in later games? Not this one? Guess I'll find out when I get to it. That's not in, in this game? Okay, then. Because there's no, like, sword clang from hitting any wall. Link to the Past did that first. Oh, I see. I'm doing so much damage with the better sword that they don't even split into tiny jellies. Oh, these guys. Get the hell away from them. Okay, that's the entrance. Now, if I go back in here... 
Oh, wait, I can't- I haven't been able to get in there, I should have realized when I was here before. I don't think- wait, no, I didn't have the map at the time, that's why. Here we go, chat, here we go. Now let me just check something here. Okay, sorry, I had to sneeze cough. I'm good. Alright, cool. Can I still... Oh, these guys are gonna be easy-peasy to me, chat. He says getting his butt kicked. Oh, no, no, no. Stop that. Candle. I want bombs. Okay, good. Hearts. Alright, perfect. Perfect. I had no map, so I didn't realize I could bomb the left wall as well. And now it warps me up over here. I got more than enough keys, so let's go. I've played so much Link to the Past randomizer that playing Link to the Past normally is gonna feel so weird. Oh, God. Ah, oh, come on, stop it. There's two, there's so many of them. Ah, uh, these things are scary. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. let me kill the boss, and it'll also let me move on to the next dungeon. Perfect. It hasn't even been two hours yet, and I'm almost done level five. This was an endeavor that took me, like, I want to say maybe, like, months before I ever got this far. <laughs> Jeez. And key for key. Why not? I don't have any bombs. I can't get that right wall. Uh-oh. What am I missing by not bombing that wall? Because I have everything I need from the dungeon. I have the compass and map. It's the bomb upgrade over there? Oh, I gotta get that. I don't remember a bomb upgrade. I genuinely did not recall that being a thing. What is it like upgrade? The amount of bombs you can carry? I genuinely do not remember that. I guess I just never found it as a kid. Yes. Oh, I gotta get that then. I definitely gonna get that. I need to kill enemies until they drop bombs then and go back for it. So where's the other bomb upgrade, then? I just... Yeah, I never found that. That's interesting. Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Other one is in level 7. Okay. Let's take a look around. Hmm. What about over here? Will they drop bombs? these things again. I hear noises outside. I'm worried they're gonna be setting up for their little shenanigans again. And I'm gonna hear Saul's go in chat. That's not gonna be fun. That's the one downside of summer. Everybody gotta get, get, get their tools out and do stuff. I cannot wait until I can set up like a proper office and like soundproof equipment. <clears throat> okay. Pardon me. I don't want to leave the dungeon. I guess I'll just have to take a look around until enemies drop it, which is annoying. Enemies are roaring. 
Please drop bombs. Rupee. Hmm. Well, I may as well head towards the boss. I mean, if it's at the start of the dungeon, I can always come back for it, right? Oh my god. Well, they dropped him. Alright then, let's go get it. This is going good, chat. This is going good. This is going so much better than I expected, like, unbelievably. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm this far into the game in under two hours. Alright. Let's see. Take him out because we can. I press down. I'm pretty sure I press down. Alright then. Pardon me, I had a cough again. Hmm. Something about the air just got me all messed up all of a sudden. I guess I'm just getting used to talking for the morning. But I'm good. I just gotta mute when I gotta do that. Ugh. We'll try the second quest sometime, but that's not something I really want to jump into. Do I need to kill these guys again to move it? Yes, I do. Great. Okay. Yes. Come on. Got him. Just ignore them. I don't think I need to kill the other ones now. And yeah, it's down here. Bomb this wall. So I did not... Was not aware of this, apparently. I bet you'd like to have more bombs. It cost a hundred? Good thing I had enough money, because I didn't realize that. Alright then. That's worth it, I guess. Having more bombs. That's literally something I just did not know you could get, I guess. Hmm. Anyway... Now I need to go kill the boss. Let's do that. Twelve booms. Maybe I didn't. I forgot. I don't remember. It's good to have, though. It's definitely good to have. Um... No, I don't go that way. If I have bombs, I don't need to kill the Dodongos, that's for sure. Um... Remember. Do I go? No, I need to. I need to kill the mummies again. Oh, great! One hundred rupees for a fanny pack. Yeah, quite a deal. Oops! I keep walking into that. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Gosh. My voice sounds like I'm dying for a split second, and I gotta take a second to clear my throat. Hell with this. Gimme. What are we gonna do now, chat? The boss dies in, like, one hit, I believe. Once I have the thing, we'll see. Five rupees, good. Well, I may as well make sure- I better make sure I have at least 100 rupees when I go into Dungeon 7, then. Alright, ignore them. I know the path through here now. Ah. Uh, I had a heart, but I got hit. Alright, he's over here. He's over here, chat. He's over here. Alright. 
So you may recognize that sound. It's the sound of, um, the warp whistle from Mario Brothers 3 as well. They used it again for Mario 3. All right, nice. And now the warp whistle will take me back to any previously visited dungeon, right? So I can use it as like a quick warp. That's good. I think it does anyway. I might be misremembering. Oh, that's right. They also used it as Ocarina of Time's um, intro theme. You're right. Is that not where I just was? Okay, level one. Level three is closest to where I use this, so let's go there. It sends you to one randomly? Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Alright then. Let's do this then, chat. So we've been to one, two, one, two, one, two. Where it take you also depends on which direction you're facing when you play it. Really? Huh. Strange. I'm not gonna lie, chat. When I started this, when I start wanted to start this little marathon, I expected this to be like port, like part five. <laughs> I don't know why I said port. Part like five before I get like the ma like the magical sword and all that. Level si Where's level six? I found seven and eight. Where's six? It's near the graveyard, isn't it? I think it's in the graveyard. It's around there. Let's go there. Now that I've been there, though, it's good. Okay. Northwest, southwest. Chat, you don't hear anybody outside, do you? I think the neighbors are just, like, doing some garden and that- garden and that's all. They're not using, like, any tools or anything. Just wondering if you hear them. Hmm. Should be good. Let's try doing this. I can just barely hear people talking. Just wondering if you guys did, too. Is it in this general direction, I think? Is this it? Yeah, I found it, chat. All dungeons accounted for. Let's go. If the chainsaws start, I'm gonna be mad. No, wait. Whiz robes are worse. Oh, I killed the leader. I forgot that was a mechanic for several dungeons. Because we haven't seen it. I should take out this and put this back on. Now, I think the power brace bracelet's the item here. We'll find out. Alright, let's go, chat. I found all the hidden heart containers in the land. I have the best sword. I got the best possible armor. Let's do it. We just gotta win the game. Oh, great. That's cool. Imagine if that thing could take your ring. I like how I can't attack, because I'm, like, stuck in hit stun. That's cool. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I guess you don't care about that. Okay. Now I can push this one of these. That was annoying as hell. Might want to get the magical shield now. Probably should. If I can block the projectiles. Oh my god. Cup. Mm. Alright, that's kind of dumb. Um. Let me just continue. Let's go this way now. See what it gives me. 
I don't like whiz robes in this game. Oh, that's cool. I walked right into them. Okay. Come on now. Die. You got a key. Go this way. Aim at the eyes of Goma. Oh, I need to have arrows for this boss, don't I? I have to buy arrows. <laughs> I I can't kill this boss without arrows now. It's Goma. Goma only has one eye, though. Tell that to him. Hey, that Lionel. He's picking me off. So I need to find a shop now or something. I can warp back to, um... I'm pretty sure I can warp back to that dungeon now, and then I've been inside. Now where, oh where can I find what I'm looking for? Lionel's in the way. Just need any random shop, chat! Any random shop. Game is lagging now. I also would require, um... Yeah, getting a potion soon would also be good. Okay. wonder if I can bomb this. No, 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 no. Menu, come on. Nope. I think there's one here. No. I thought maybe. And this just loops back around here now. There's probably something secret in this little section here, but I'm not quite sure what it is. The whole mountain area is just filled with Lynels, and they're scary. One sword slash and they die, though. The rocks are falling. Hang on, I think I'm close to Ganon's dungeon now. I didn't intend to come over here, but I'm just trying to find a shop. You're in the wrong part of Hyrule now. The scary part of Hyrule. Hmm. I don't even know where the hell I am right now. Just a very tiny mountain region. You don't even really need to do anything in the desert in this game, do you? Desert's just kind of like in the middle and has nothing. And that's just an arrow pointing the stuff. I'm in the top part of the map, according to the overworld. Nobody likes the Zoras, they're rude. Oh, here it is. Which one was it again? Here it is. Do, do, do. Ones who do not have Triforce cannot enter. All right. Yep, that scary ominous theme. Oh, I was stuck in the rock for a second there. What's this now? Oh, it's another one of these ladies. I need to add the letter. Hmm. Maybe I should try and get the letter. I think I know where it is. I need to save up rupees, though, because potions are good. You can't carry around fairies in this game, because there's no bottle system. Oh, come on now. It might be faster just to let myself die at this point. 
Yeah, I'll let myself die. Come on, Zora! Hit me. Hit me. Hit me! I want a death warp and I need it now. Faster, please. Link, eight kills. Now then. The magical seat shield. Um, there was a guy who sold it for cheap. Hmm. For 90 rupees, though. Um. How do I get the letter? I don't remember where that is now. Yeah, 90 rupees near dungeon one for that, but the uh, the the shield, I mean. But I don't have 90 rupees, <laughs> and farming takes an eternity right now. Just have to get lucky and save up. Having the best sword right now helps. Just gotta get some of that. I don't really want to do it through the gambling game. That feels like that just takes forever. Yeah, I could save scum with save states to get money right quick, but eh, I don't really want to. Hmm. Hmm. Let me try back over here, actually. I died and I come back here anyway. I think maybe... Yeah, inside the waterfall was the lady who, uh, pay me and I'll talk. She just tells you to go up the mountain. No reason to waste my money on her. In the first quest, Old Man's Cave with the letter is in the mo near the money-making game in the Hollow Tree in Eastern Hyrule. Was he? Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, is this loop around too? Hang on. Oh, can I only approach? Can I only leave this from the west side? Damn it. That's annoying. All right, if that's the case. I should probably just use the recorder and warp to dungeon two. Uh, this is dungeon four. And this is dungeon five. I also need to buy arrows. So I can fight the... <laughs> so I can actually fight the second boss. Or the... The boss of the, the, the sex dungeon, that's what I'm trying to say. Gosh. Okay, he's in a hollow tree somewhere in Eastern Hyrule. Eastern Hyrule's confusing. So you mean I have to, like, burn a tree down, or is it something else? Okay. I don't remember there being a money-making game around here. Cave up the flight of stairs. I don't remember there being a cave like that. Okay, we're too far now. Okay, this ain't it. One of these. Wow, they died one hit too. Link on an absolute quest right now. Okay, a secret to everybody. Okay. Can't afford the 160 there. I definitely want to get buy the one that costs 90. Take the booms. 
very top right corner gives 100 rupees. All right, I should probably go for that then if I want that shield. Um, I have no idea where a damn tree is right now. So let me go over here. Here's a hollow tree. Let's play a money-making game. I'm guessing I go up these stairs to find it, then. Oh? I remember- I think I remember this cave. Show this to the old woman. Wait a second. Hold up a sec, chat. The overworld says I can't... How do you get one space up? Is there like a secret path here? Oh my god, these pea hats need to go. Ah, here it is. It's a secret to everybody. Alright. Lacko, that went ahead and figured it out. Okay, so... Can the like like take the, the the large shield in this game, or is that a, a uh, is that something they added in later games? Because I don't want to lose that shield <laughs> once I get it. They can ah, that's annoying. I need my boomerang on. Okay, here's the desert. There's, like, nothing here. It's just four tiles of desert that are just like, eh. There are five tiles, I guess. Extra rupees help, because I want to buy potions. I'm gonna go buy the shield, but I really don't want to lose it, so I gotta be careful. If it'll help with the whiz robes, it's something I should go for. Oh, come on. <laughs> I guess the desert is a good place to grind, yeah. All the citizens of Hyrule just hiding out in, like, trees. I got big shield. So far, so good. Now what? Um, right, I should show the old woman the letter. Citizens, it's just old women and men. Yeah, the shopkeeper's not that old. Hang on. What's written on this letter? Buy medicine before you go. So I can use the red potion twice. Why does it cost 68? That is such a random number. Let's grind and get that, because I want it. I want to take that into, like, the next dungeon, because it could really help me. Ugh. Taking damage here unnecessarily. Oh, right. I need the arrows. I can't beat the boss without the arrows. I keep saying that. What a pain in the butt. It's 68 cause 69 wasn't invented yet. That's right. <laughs> Alright, let's get the arrow. What shop had the arrow again? I literally can't kill Goma without arrows. I totally forgot about that. I think, like, that's when I realized when I was a kid that I forgot to get the bow in Dungeon 1. Well, let's go then. Pay me and I'll talk. No. Oh, 
Let's take a look over here, I guess. They hurt me, but I didn't take damage. Isn't that good? Pulp them. Hmm. The dungeon's right there, but I can't... I need the arrows. I can't do it without the arrows. Man, money grinding in this game really slows it down, don't it? Even though I found the 100 rupee secret. I really wanted that shield, though, because the whiz robes are awful. Hmm. Let's keep looking, chat. Let's just keep looking. Oh boy, hearts. Definitely needed those. Ah, oh, only got five rupees. How much was it? 80, right? Once you really know what to grab on the overworld, you don't really need to really care too much anymore, do you? Hang on, was it one of these shops that had it? Let me check. Yeah, he sells it. I'll buy it from him. I just need nine more rupees. The bow does shoot, but consumes rupees, but I have to physically buy an arrow to unlock the ability to shoot with it, which is kind of dumb, but hey, what can you do? Gimme. Gimme. Come on. Walk up. Why do they always walk at weird janky angles? I didn't get what I needed, chat. I didn't get what I needed. How exciting. Maybe the rupees are being used as arrowheads? Zelda 1 had crafting before Breath of the Wild. Amazing. Do that. Ah, oh, one more. One more! No, just give me the damn rupee. Oh, chat. I want rupees. I want rupees. I just need one drop. 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 Th there you go. There you go. Link's too poor to save the kingdom now. He can get the best sword, the best ring, all that crap, but now he's got no money. And now I'm gonna need to save up some rupees to kill Goma with. Oops. Actually tap down there. There's no point in buying the arrows again, though. So now I don't have to pay to ever use the, the arrows again, at least. That's good. That's at least something. And the next dungeon's right around the corner, so let's just go back there. Hang on, grab that. Nice that it's near a fairy fountain, which is good. Okay, good. Let's go. All right, chat. No time to save up for a potion, so let's go for it. Let's go for it. Wait. This is level 7. This isn't level 6. Why am I here? Uh, did I need Dungeon 6's item to beat this? Because I could just, uh, ignore, ignore that and go. Nope. Well, I'm here. I'm gonna... I guess I'll play this dungeon. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, we killed the leader. Well, that was unfortunate, but it's fine. We got bombs. And this should loop back around to the entrance. What was the item you get from Dungeon 6? Was it the red candle or the power bracelet? Because I feel like those are coming up next. Magic wand? I forgot about that item. Was it even any good? Hey, the shield has helped me out. Let's go this way. Power bracelets are just in the overworld? Where the hell did I miss it then? There's a secret in the tip of the nose. Well, I don't know what the map looks like, so I don't know what the nose is. Where was the power bracelet then? I don't remember if it's in the overworld. Oh yeah, I forgot that you're building your own map as you explore. Uh, yeah, that's kind of good. Oops. Okay, use this. It's under an Armos near Dungeon 6. Was it? Really? I don't remember anything like that. I'll, I guess I'll see it when I get to it. Alright, for now I'm in this dungeon, so I'm doing it now. Let's go for it. Okay. Keys, chat. Keys! You know, the enemies seem a lot more forgiving here uh, compared to the, um... Hang on. Yeah, let that open. I have to bomb a wall here, don't I? But I don't have the map. Or did I miss something back here? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, Dungeon 7 has, like, a repeat of Boss 1, don't it? Push this. Now that I'm thinking about it, doesn't the power bracelet in this game, isn't the only thing it does? It, like, unlocks these, like, weird set of shortcuts in the overworld, but I don't really need it anymore because I have the recorder. I don't think it pushing these does anything. Okay. Let's see how they connect there. Hmm. So I've hit my dead ends, trying to start bombing some walls now. Let's give it a try. Oh wow, the first try, I got it. Let's go. Grumble, grumble. Wait, chat, don't I need the monster bait for this dungeon? Or is that the next level? Gosh, every time I think I'm in the clear. Oh, darn it. I'm gonna have to leave. Gonna have to leave. Yes, you need the meat. I, I, uh, I, gotta, I need like 60 rupees for that. This is turning out to be freaking absurd. Oh, golly. I mean to pick that up now. I don't, don't think I need to kill these guys, but here it is, isn't it? I bet you'd like to have more bombs. All right, chat, looks like my bill has gone up to 160 now. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so sick of the money requirements in this game. I can't beat the dungeon. I have to leave. Get out of my way. Okay. Let's go back to dungeon 6, since apparently I can only do that. Time to grind. No, no, I didn't want to do that. The wind won't work here, alright. 
No, I can just go do do, do, do jun, uh, dungeon six and get money from doing that while also beating it. Now let's see how long it takes for it to bring me there. I almost just choked on my cocoa. <clears throat> Not a good time right now. Game? There is more than one dungeon. You can take me there. Game? Come on now. Does it only take you to dungeons that are complete? Because I've been in Dungeon 6. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Come on. Oh my, it only works once per screen. All right then. Let's try again, chat. Let's try again. I don't think it's gonna take me there because I haven't beat it. I'm just gonna walk there now. <laughs> this whistle started to make me annoyed. Okay then. Alright, what am I doing? I'm just grinding money. I gotta go northwest, southwest. Northwest. Southwest. Golly, we're here. The ultimate thing stopping you from stopping this from being a speedrun. Money. Money won't drop. Money won't give. Even with the secrets, it's a pain in the ass. And it should be just up there, okay. Hopefully I can do this now. Let's go for it. I got the magical shield, I got all these shenanigans. Now how far did I get in this dungeon before? Alright, that was a dead end to the right, so it's just a straight shot to the left here. Let's go there. I don't think I need to kill all the whiz robes this time. Oh, I walk right into him. Okay. These guys are fine to kill in case we get some health drops and money drops. I need that. I have to buy the monster meat, so I can't beat level 7. Okay. Putting a lot more dangerous stuff in these rooms. Alright. Great, can't use sword now. Whiz robes, man. Okay. This room is just a cluster of annoying enemies, isn't it? That one's much better than before. Can't push the block until they're all dead. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, hey, chat. Hang on. There's um, a knock at the door. I think that's the package. I gotta get that now. deliver at the most annoying times. What can you do? Okay. Okay. I was trying to pause to see where they're going. Holy hell, this room sucks. Just face them. Ah, I need some space, though, to turn around sometimes. Ah. Hang on, was the door open? I wasn't even... I was distracted by the package. I probably could have just left, couldn't I? Oh, it's you! Okay. 
Hang on, do bombs work? No, I didn't have to sign for it. They just leave it at the door. Just, oh wait, no, there's three heads. Hang on. It's just obviously I want to pick up the package and not leave it out there for a few hours on the doorstep, you know what I mean? Very nice. Oh, damn. Ooh, that was scary. Let's take a look over here now. Okay, gooey friends. Do not let these things take my shield. Do that. Okay, so I should probably go to this dead end over here and get the wand. Oh, God. Okay, don't panic. No! That is so lame! All right. Continue. Now we're gonna go again. I ha I start with no hearts. Oh. Bell is here. So annoying. Well, at least I can get rupees here. <sighs> funny game. Funny. This is where the aggravation can come from for Zelda. When you restart, at the start of the dungeon, it forces you to have three hearts. And you gotta fill the rest on your own. Gosh, that's annoying. Okay, better take up the boomerang for this again. All right, let's get out of here. Free room. Okay, good, they stay dead? I'm honestly surprised they stay dead. Okay, I, can, I don't have to fight here. I don't have to fight here. I can go, I can go. Oh, thank goodness he's dead too. That's good, okay. Um... I know I don't stand a chance in that other room right now, so let's go this way. How are you supposed to deal with this? I was facing him, chat! I was facing him! Okay. Oh, golly. Hmm. Walk right into him. Give me this. They stay dead because there's one un one enemy left alive in the room. It's an un it's an unkillable enemy, so they will stay dead until you leave the dungeon. Okay. Let's go to the top. As long as I don't have to keep fighting them every time. Hit it. Ugh. Alright. No, the issue isn't like the blue ones hitting me with their laser. The issue is that they're moving towards me. And my shield can't block, like, physically block them making physical contact. So I either kill them as they're moving towards me, or I just die. And that's annoying. He's supposed to warp. Come on. So if you leave one enemy left alive, the rest won't respawn. Okay. What's over here? I don't suppose there's a fairy fountain somewhere in these dungeons. Oh, hell no. Don't panic. Don't panic. 
Don't panic. Got him. Alright, looks like the boss is coming up. Um, do I really need the wand? Like, isn't it only as powerful as the second sword anyway? Does it even- does it affect the Dark Nuts is probably the good question I need to know. It doesn't affect the Dark Nuts. I don't know if I really want it. Okay. Let's see here. Ah! I hate those things. They take away your ability to use your sword for a few seconds there. Stop it! Just random. Well, I don't have to come back in here. That's a, that's a plus at least. It doesn't hurt the it hurt the dark nuts. Um, I don't know if I want to bother going for it then. I can leave it for now. Maybe get it later. Okay, I should just go for the boss then. I'll be fine without the one for now. Does it even affect the whiz robes? Wait, you can upgrade the wand in this game? <clears throat> Why have I never heard of that before? Hmm, pardon me. All right. <clears throat> That. Yeah, it makes it shoot fire. Huh. I've just, like, been completely unaware of this stuff. Okay. I don't want to leave the dungeon, because it's going to reset all these really hard rooms. Uh-oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. It'll bring the three-headed dragon back as well, and I don't want that to happen. Okay. Uh, all right, I don't need to go up or down. I just go to the side. I just need to find, go to the side. Be safe. Be happy like Moomin would be, chat. Be happy like Moomin would be. It's those blue as robes I really hate. Yoink. Now then, that was a dead end up there last time, wasn't it? No! No! I lost the damn shield. Oh, no, 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 I still have it. I thought people said they t took them in this game. I guess they don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate the blue whiz robes. Gimme, 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 gimme! Okay. Get away from me. That glowy thing is just unnecessary. Takes him a second to kill the shield. If you kill him fast enough, you keep it. Okay. There are secrets where fairies don't live. Oh, he's telling me how to get to level 7. Remember that dungeon I had to leave? So I did all that for a hint. I never need to come back this way. Wait a second, does that mean that there's a bombable wall over here? Hang on. Wait, no, that other path, that leads to a set of stairs that goes this way, doesn't it? Damn it. Yep, probably. Don't suppose this will work here. I have to take that path with the room filled with blue whiz, whiz robes, then. Oh, golly. Let's do it, then, chat. Let's do it. Let's do it! I 
No! Oh my gosh. Why are West Robes so stupid, chat? <laughs> Why are they so dumb? Alright, let's go. Let's climb to the top again. Drop a heart. Drop a fairy, please. Oh no, I guess I killed the leader. Need this for the bat room. These dungeons, luckily, are not very long, and I'm getting the money I need for the monster meat by doing this over and over, so that's something. But still, I'm not a happy moomin right now. Level 6 feels like a pretty noticeable difficulty spike, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! They're just like, hey, what if we put a bunch of obnoxious enemies together and also make the statues shoot fireballs? Because why the hell not? Level 6 is just evil. Yeah. Oh my god, you're supposed to move! Okay. Alright. We are past that. We are past that. Now I gotta get through this crap again. Next attempt. There they are. There they are, chat. Oh, cool. It hit me. Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's try again. I need one of these guys to just drop a... Well, that's a start, but I needed a... I need a fairy. I can block the Wizrobe magic, but I can't block them walking into me. <laughs> like, I, I still have to kill them. Uh. Ugh, every time I gotta switch the boomerang just for this one damn room. Oh gosh! Why do we need this? I can use the sword there for a second. Thank goodness I can push this. Don't. Okay, good. Got past him. Alright. Now we run for it. And hopefully... Things work out this time. Oh, why do they always start there? And these things are free. Damn it. Oh, if I hit these guys with my sword, they don't split into bats anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. I took damage there. Okay. Oh, no. No, no. They have to die. I still have it. Oh, I got him. Push it. Push it. All right. I'm begging you now. Bats, come on. Give me a fairy. Can I even... Can fairies even spawn on maps like this? I'm not sure. Ah! Ah! Okay, so that's where I came from. I was hoping to get drops from them. All right, these guys. Oh. No! Oh, 
Oh gosh! Go, go, go. Where's the boss? Where's the boss? Goma! That's right. Oh, I did it. I did it. Gimme. I don't need the magic wand, I'm good with my life. Magic is for whiz robes, and we hate whiz robes in this house. And now, I can afford the monster meat now, right? That was so tense, chat. Who decided... Who decided to make that such a huge difficulty spike? It's like in the last dungeon, I'm still fighting, like, rooms full of gooey blobs. In this dungeon, it's like, here's whiz robes, like likes, and little spark balls. <laughs> oh my god, I hated that. And it's just that room combo over and over. All right. That's level three. Level seven's nearby here. Let's go there. Oh, wait, no, I need the monster meat, but that's nearby. Oh, yeah, the game's lagging here. But, all right. Got bombs back, that's good. Level seven's much easier. Is... Is level... level I don't... I remember that Wizard Rope dungeon giving me a lot of trouble when I was young. I I would say it's probably one of the, the hardest. And it certainly feels like it. Okay. It's in the secret shop up here. I don't need the... No, I still need the recorder out to enter the dungeon. Damn. All right, things are still going good. I think I can do it. Boy, this sure is expensive. Surprised I ended up with five extra keys so far. Oops. Run. He was chasing me down. Monster meat. All right, so I'm not worried about Dungeon 7 because the boss... I'm pretty sure they just reused, the, like, the first boss for this dungeon, and he dies, like, instantly to the magic sword. Okay, so far so good. Um, I won't be able to buy the second bomb upgrade, but do I really need it? I don't know. Okay. Now, how far did I explore before? Okay, I went a little bit. I think I need to just go up two spaces then. Let me put this on. So the item I missed in Dungeon 6 is the is the wand. All it does is shoots a projectile. But it's not as strong as a slash from the magic sword. So I don't need to go out of my way for it right now. Like, look at this. We go from whiz robes to these guys again. Who decided level 6 needed to be brutal? I guess they wanted you to try and do the things out of order, didn't they? Hang on, do they still have a key in here? No, I wasn't here before. This is a different one. That's a compass. Okay. Nice. And look, we got skeletons. <laughs> oh, golly. Let's go, chat. Let's go. I am genuinely surprised I'm almost done the damn game, it feels like. Uh, we don't need to fight them. Uh... What was up here? There's a locked door before. Oh, it's you. I mean, I guess I can come get this whenever I need it. Okay. But, not a big deal, since I already got the good stuff in the overworld. So, going up here again gives me what? Oh, okay, I wasn't- I wasn't in here yet, that's why. I was confused. If the spark balls touch you, you can't use your sword for a couple seconds. It's annoying. Let's get them. Okay, they can't get me up from down there. Oh, right. I think I- Hang on. He was in level 6 as well, wasn't he? Oh, no, this one splits into multiple ones. Okay, nice. Oh, the door was open the whole time. I thought maybe he dropped something. Okay.
Okay, this is fine. We fine, chat. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We win. I got rupees. Here he is, chat. Here he is. Here he is. He's the star of the show. This guy who goes grumble, grumble. You can't walk by him. You're just supposed to know you gotta go to that shop. You gotta buy the meat. And he goes away. That, that made me so mad when I was young. That made me so angry. Oh, looks like I need this. Oh, this is the lizard dungeon. It looks like a lizard head. Okay, good. Darn it. Bats can't hurt me that bad. Nice. Did they do have to stop kids from beating the game too fast? I'm not so sure. But that really was a thing back in the day. The, in the original Resident Evil, they made the US version a lot more harder so that people couldn't beat it during a weekend rental. Funny story. Like, you know how- they, like, they literally took out the part of the aim mechanic for the original release of Resident Evil 1. Can you imagine them doing something like that nowadays? Like, enemies do more damage, ink ribbons come in packs of two instead of three. And you need ink ribbons to save if you didn't know how those work. Alright, a little lag there, but it's alright. Whew. This is fun, chat. I got a little frustrated in, in, uh, wait, what? There's nothing here? I guess I, I have to bomb, don't I? Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not the red dot, what am I saying? Oh, damn it, it's not. Hmm. So what was that dead end for then, huh? Let me see if I can get in the eye. Yes, I can. The eye has a secret. The old man did say that earlier. All right, should be safe to take out these enemies. Nice. Like, this dungeon is such a weird, like, you got all the whiz robes and like likes in Dungeon 6, and then it's like, here's the boomerang guys from the first two dungeons again. Oh, I can't push it because he's not dead. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Zelda 1 has been surprisingly fun, and there's the infinite candle. Nice. Alright. I was expecting to take, like, eight damn parts before I get anywhere, but... <clears throat> we're only just under three hours in, and I'm, uh... I'm almost at... I'm almost to, like, Ganon. <laughs> I'm mostly done. Now then, I gotta check somewhere else, though. Um... I need to find a staircase. I need to find a staircase at the edge of the, like, the bottom of the mouth, don't I? It'll warp me to the, where the, the top mouth is, I suppose. Let's go there. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I gotta kill them now, don't I? I needed the rupees, it's alright. Wanna buy potions for Ganon. Let's keep going. I beat this like once 10 to 15 years ago. <clears throat> and along during the summer <laughs> on the Game Boy Advance. I can't believe that didn't hit me. Okay, perfect. Oh, I had to clear my throat again. Okay, these guys. I need to start bombing walls on this side of the dungeon, so we'll see. The infinite candle's nice, but I don't need it anymore since I found all the heart container places. Perfect. 
Do that. Let's see if this breaks. Nope. Gonna go down then. Blue candle only works once per screen. Red candle works as many times as you want per screen. So you don't need the red candle, but it's definitely more a lot more convenient. What am I doing? I need to light the room up. All right. Let's check over this way. Was it a dead end? Okay, I know I go up. I haven't been over here before, right? No, I've been up before, it seems, so... Let me just go to the right and ignore these guys, then. Whatever. Take damage. I mean, I feel like Zelda 2 will probably take me a longer time to get through, for sure. Like... How many palaces are in that game? Wasn't it like six or something? I don't know. Really? There's nothing down here? Uh-oh. Okay, so the thing into the eyeballs there. Six plus grand palace. Okay. So it might take me a bit to get through. Um... We'll see how that goes, then. I don't suppose there's any secret here to break. Have I not explored every part of the bottom here? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I have, so I haven't found... I think I see where I need to look for. Hang on. Zelda 2 is a lot less forgiving. Oh, boy. Well, we'll see how that goes, then. I'm sure it'll be fun. Let me double check what was up here. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's limited lives in Zelda 2. Wasn't there. Wasn't there. Oh god, there was, wasn't there. Oh god. Maybe I should put two off a little bit. <laughs> Do a different one first. Or just save state. I probably could, honestly. Because the thought of backtracking to every palace after dying a couple times sounds so obnoxious. Alright, time to kill this thing. I can get shortcuts. Well, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. For now... Okay... This wall, I want to assume, should be it. Okay, good, it was. And what's this? Oh, it's one of these again, that's all. Listen to the fire roar, chat. Uh, a key? <laughs> Excuse me, that's not what I needed. Come on. Oh no. Okay, what about up here? No. And how the hell do I get there? I don't need it. I don't need it. Let's go. Here, is it? Alright. So far, so good. It's not in the... Hang on. It's not up here, is it? I mean, I'm just taking a shot in the dark here. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, it's just rupees. Okay. All right. I was about to say, if that was the way forward... 
I was about to say, chat. I was about to say. I can get that potion now, yeah, but... Alright. I... Alright. It's fine. I'm still looking for the way to go. I've not... Wait. I've not been to the side. That's just the eyeball. Wait. No, I need to bomb the south wall, don't I? But I don't have bombs anymore. These guys gotta drop bombs or I'm not advancing, apparently. Uh-oh. <sighs> they didn't drop bombs, chat. I need bombs. If they don't drop bombs, I can't play the game. I don't need help, I need bombs. Give me bombs! <laughs> Shouldn't this be, like, a thing that, like, uh, they would realize would be an issue? Maybe? I need to bomb the south wall here, because that's, like, the only other place to go. I tried bombing it on the other angle, so it has to be... gotta be there. So what do I do aside from run around? Nothing. Who said that I- I didn't say there was nothing in the eyeball. I've already been in there. There we go. Oh, there's bombs. Good. Okay. Only four, but it's enough. Oh, come on now. That's not it. How in the hell do you get to that room? Oh my god, I probably have to break something here, don't I? No? Then what the- how do I get down there? That's pretty much what I've been asking the whole time, yeah? Right wall? Didn't I try that? I swear I tried that. I swear I freaking tried that. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's kill these chumps. Oh goody, more bombs. So the Triforce piece is down there. What's up this way first? Oh, it's these again. These things appear a lot, which is strange because I don't even remember them being in the game. Get in the damn door. Okay, it's this guy. And the stairs in the eyeball room just gave me the red candle. Okay, got it. Oh! I- Do I even have enough bombs for this? It's too per Dodongo. Oh my god, alright, I can't do it now. Cool. <laughs> so what do I do now? What do I do now, chat? Why the hell do I bomb the wall to get the Triforce, huh? Hmm? Probably need to bomb a south wall, but I highly doubt it's gonna let me in the Triforce room. Just 
checking now. So where do I go? Because... Like, I can kill them. Oh, there's no door there? I thought there was a door there. But that had to be opened by them. Never mind. Okay, there's nothing here. All right, so I'm probably going to push one of these, don't I? Mm-hmm. Would it go away for just a second? Uh-huh. So is there even anything here? I'm kind of questioning that now. Pushing these from that side doesn't do anything. Okay. Wait, the wall masters have to die first? I thought they were infinitely spawning, though. I get that must be all of them, then. Okay, let's try again. Alright. Let's go, chat. <clears throat> Alright. Give me the thing. Give me the things. Whoever invented this enemy needs to go directly to hell. Which one of them do I push? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now let's just go here. And, yep, he turned around. This is a fun room. That's a fun room. That's a real fun room. And now we can... Okay, we made it. We made it. We're here. We're almost done. I've got the item. Um, bomb right wall, I'm assuming. Because the stairs are just going to be where I entered. There he is, boss one. Got him. Oh, golly, chat. <clears throat> we did it. We made it. Two hits. Two hits he took. And I'm one heart away, just from the one from level eight. Wow, the secrets were kind of obnoxious in that, that level, weren't they? I should buy a potion. Let's do that. Mm, pardon me. I'm losing my sanity with some of these. So that dungeon wasn't so bad compared to level 6, but it had some annoying uh, layout decisions, I would say. Yeah, let's go buy the potion and the dead end. The dead end on the east side. Let me get some extra rupees from these guys if I can. This is still, all things considered, going incredibly well. Level 8 is hope you like more Dark Nuts. Bring it on. I could buy the bomb upgrade, but... Nah, I'd rather have the potion right now. Okay, chat. Let's do it. Wait, is something from my inventory missing? Oh, right, the, the letter's replaced with, um... the potion. Okay. I'm losing my mind, chat. I'm losing my mind. They give you the red candle, but you can access level 8 just with the blue candle. It's weird, though, because the, the, the tree you burn down to reach level 8 is, um... Uh, I think too far here. The tree you burn down there is kind of just, um... Like, it, it's kind of like the most stand, like outstanding tree, I would say, that you'd think to probably try and burn. We're going, chat. We're gonna make it. We're gonna do our best. Then we're gonna spend an hour screaming at Ganon's dungeon. Okay, it's around here somewhere. This goes to the shore, right? Yeah, it does. Hmm. I will 
take that. Just ignore him. And it was like down here, I think. Don't worry about second quest another time. This one's very bright on the eyes, isn't it? No, I've checked nothing. Let's go, chat. Bring it on. Okay, uh, put that away. Don't bring this on. Gotta save bombs now. Hey, five rupees. Well, I can one-shot the Red Dark Nuts. Let's go. Ah. You know, these rooms would be a lot more fair if, th if those things weren't just, like, going around randomly. Okay, good. Got him. We want to grab all the money because we're probably going to need another potion for Ganon. I don't know if I need a lot of bombs for, uh, these, these next two dungeons. Let's go. Oh! What the hell does that do? I genuinely don't remember what this is for. Uh... It adds fire to the wa Oh, it's the wand upgrade! Oh. Alright. I don't really need to go back for the wand though, because all it does all it does is um all it does is add fire to the wand, and I have infinite candles. Honestly, the red candle is probably a better like ranged attack than the wand in some cases. All right, speaking of which, here. So I got the key. I guess I don't need to kill everything in this room. Hmm. They're all the way over there and it's annoying. I have more than enough keys, so let's just go this way. There's another good item in level 8. Gotta play the game of what wall do I bomb? Okay, thank goodness I got a first try. Right, here come the dark nuts, chat. Alright. One bomb. Two bombs. I'll take that. Those statues. Are, ma are not making this a good time. These fairies are making this a better time. Okay, it was just a key. Let's check out the locked door. The compass. That's all I need from here. I don't gotta kill the enemies. They take too many sword slashes, too. Alright, let's go. That was some good luck for health drops, yeah. We'll never see it again. I would rather fight the Dark Nuts and the Wizrobes any day. The Wizrobes come back for Ganon's dungeon, don't they? Oh, they probably do. Okay. There's already an item, that means nothing will drop on killing everything. So let's check over here. Let's check over here, chat, let's do it. Okay. Lads, that die in one hit. Can block these if I'm careful enough. I'm just getting key drops. A lot of these are gonna carry over to the next one, I guess. Alright. May as well try for a health drop, I suppose. Nope. Okay. Oh, it's Goma. That's a Goma! 
Wish I could strafe for this thing. Oh, it takes more than one hit. That's why he's blue, chat. Dubba dee, dubba die. Stab him in the eye. Come on. Damn it. Not fast enough. Don't run out of money. Okay, he won't respawn. Let's see what's in here. Not a good layout. That's what's in here. Okay, back through here. Okay. Well. At least hearts are dropping. I want to see if they drop an extra key. Since I already started killing them pretty decently. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Ugh, the statues. Oh, only one of them got hit. All right. me out of the room, I would have been really upset. How are you? You, you should have had no health left. Damn you. Alright. Oh, hell. I don't need to fight them. Don't need to fight them, chat. Don't need to fight them. I don't think they can drop anything down here, can they? Bunnies! Okay, bunnies are dropping hearts, chat. I have to kill them all to leave the room. Ugh. Oh, golly. It's gonna be a pain. The way they bounce around, don't look right. Come on. Come on, little bunnies. Get slaughtered. Hop over here. Hop over here. Okay, got him. Oh, that's not a fun layout to fight those guys in, that's for sure. Am I almost to the boss? I hear, like, the roaring of it. So I don't gotta fight these guys. But I guess I should grab the key just in case. Tenth enemy has the bomb. Oh. This is like, uh... It's telling you about, like, um... Every ten enemies you kill without getting, like, uh, taking damage like, drops a bomb guaranteed or something. I didn't realize there was a hint for that in the game. I thought that was something speedrunners just, like, figured out. Alright, here's the boss. He's got four heads now. I can tank it. I did it. I got all the possible hearts. Um... Wow, I didn't really go through much of that dungeon at all. I guess I just accidentally skipped the map and stuff. I found the book, so is that it? I can go to Ganon now. You kill nine enemies without taking damage and kill a tenth with a bomb for a bomb drop. I would not have been able to infer that information from that singular hint. <laughs> Did it look like he had five heads? I'm not sure. All right, chat, max hearts. Oopsie. 
I can get the red ring inside Ganon's place. I remember it's in the Skull Eye. I'm pretty sure. Uh, what's the fastest way for me to get there? I didn't find the power bracelet this whole time. Where was that again? I don't even remember. It doesn't matter because I don't need it anymore. Um, I still have my potion, so yeah. Huh. Look at that. Now how do I get to the Death Mountain blob again? It's like around this section, I believe. Ah, oh, damn it. You, so, yeah, in Ganon's dungeon, you need... Wait, I need to find another item. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Nah, enough with the vague hints. Just tell me if I miss something. Is the silver arrows in level 8? Or is it in level 9? It's in level 8, I gotta go back to it. Well, level 2 is close enough. Silver arrows are in 9. It's just the infinite key in that one. Oh, then why the hell did you stop me? I have 6 keys, so I don't need to go back for anything. Okay. Let's go... close to where it could be. I don't need to go back in level 8. I don't really want to. That one's not gonna warp me to it. <laughs> Six. I don't want the wand. Too much trouble to go through. Alright, I'm gonna get the thing then. Oh, come on. Warp me back to the thing. Oh my god, why does it have to be random? East is, ne is plus one level, west is neg negative one level. Then why was everyone saying it was random, then? That th sounds incredibly simple. Alright. Let the warp go. What happens if you're looking up or down, then? Alright. Now, then. Let's look for the thing I missed, but... What did I miss? I haven't even found the map, so I don't even know where to look. Okay. This room I got into before. The map could probably drop from these guys, for all I know. No, there was a key in here, that's right. Ah, oh, darn it. This is gonna be a pain. Oh, come on. Good move. Gimme. I don't... This is weird. Like, I haven't found the map for the dungeon, so I don't know how I'm supposed to figure out where, um... 
what walls are supposed to be bombed. This is a kind of annoying as hell. I only have one bomb left, too. Ah, that's fantastic. Come on now. Where on earth is it? Couldn't drop from these guys. Well, at least we're getting money. Let's try bombing to the side here. Chat, I have no no clue. Where on earth am I supposed to go? Because there's nothing... The map doesn't say there's anything left to check. And I... Because I haven't even found the map either. It's northeast. Alright. Well, let's look that way then. Some of these... The layout in these later dungeons is kind of borderline obnoxious. I really need a bomb drop from these things, though. Can use my sword. Ugh, how annoying. Nope, no bomb drops. Well, these guys gonna die. Uh, I'm gonna die first at this rate. <sighs> the fireballs are just so unnecessary for these rooms. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Does fire even hurt these guys? No, nope, they just ignore it. No bombs, no bombs dropping at all. Okay, um... So, does anybody know where I'm going? Because I have- I don't know where I'm- why I came here again. There we go. I thought that was gonna be fine in the map. Oh, good, bombs. There we go. Am I looking for a bombable wall, or- or what now? Get out of here. Stop it! <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Oh, bombs dropped from that, and I fell. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna waste bombs by doing this. I really don't want to waste bombs, because the drops in this game are kind of awful. Ugh. I don't even know if that was centered enough. All right. So where am I headed here? Hang on. I think I'm just gonna look it up. Let me see. Go left and bomb up. All right. Hang on. Oh, I'm not even close to having 100 rupees, though. Where's map? Oh, okay, these. Okay, this should be fine. That's- they put the map here? They really put the map here, behind a hidden bombable wall. Wow. Wow. I hate that so much. I hate that so much. How would you even know? Oh, okay, this thing. Let's go. Oh, great. Hang on. Just gonna hit it three times. Here's a real boss fight. Come on, Goma. No! How did those miss? 
No, 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 what? You were supposed to turn, Link! What? Oh my god. That was lame. Alright, let's get back in there. I did not want to waste my potion in this place. Holy heck, this is the worst layout yet. Oh, damn, these guys gonna die now. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of patience for these rooms that shoot fireballs at you at bot. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's a heart back at least. You still have to refight the big bosses every time. Darn it, no fairy. Alright, don't gotta worry about these lads again. We can ignore them. Okay. Alright, I already have them equipped. No! That's so dumb! Uh, I don't know if I can hit him multiple times. In one, go one round. No! Oh my god! These fireballs need to freaking stop. Ah. Uh, okay. Can't get him now. Mm. Holy moly. Alright, it's to the right now, I gotta go. Wait, both doors were closed, right? Hang on. What the bunnies? Okay, bunnies die, one hit to arrows. Good. What? I pressed the button to arrow and it didn't go. It didn't go in. It didn't happen. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh, I pressed the button and it didn't happen. Why didn't the arrow come out? Only one arrow on a screen at a time. All right. Let's do this again for the upteenth time. There shouldn't be fireballs. There should be no fireballs there. There should be no freaking statue shooting fireballs. It's just bullcrap. Okay. Now what? I gotta do this until they die. I just said I ain't, I ain't wasting the potion here. Well, I may as well start over now. Yep. Darn it. Grind rupees would take even longer to get a new one, so we're not gonna do that. Just gotta get through this. Ugh. I need to kill some of them so the room stops lagging. are open because Goma's dead. I don't gotta kill Goma again. Now I gotta kill these guys though so I can get open that up. Okay, we'll do that to get rid of the bun buns. I wanna bomb anything? I got six bombs. Oh, hang on. Can I get that with the boomerang? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Game, stop it. I even hit him without bombs. Not so sure. All 
All right, this had better be it. There it is. This thing I came all the way back for. Got it. I may as well just uh, take a death now and then just like uh, save warp. Bats can't really kill me though. Don't worry, there'll be a bunch of blue dark nuts wandering around the corner in a moment. <laughs> they absolutely will be here waiting for me. There we go. My keys now say A. What does A even stand for in this context? I'm not sure. 18 deaths, full hearts. Alright, chat. Now it's time. A for all of them. That wouldn't really make any sense. Let's head to Ganon. We've got things to do. A for a lot. I guess I'll just go up this way. I didn't end up finding the power bracelet. Ah, oh, come on now, turn. Alright, needed that. That's good. Should be able to use the step ladder to get to it quickly. I don't need another meat for... Wait, do I need another meat for Ganon's tower? Or Ganon's level? I don't remember that. Please tell me I don't. Please tell me I don't. That's more money grinding right there. There it is. Heart. Okay, let me just get some health and stuff from outside here. This isn't a shop, is it? <clears throat> okay. Oh, it's the lady that sells potions. They put her right right outside there. That's actually pretty handy. <laughs> okay. There's that. Nothing dropped. It's good that I can go buy a potion if I need it. Well, let's go for it. Scary place. It's open because I got the Triforce now. Let's get looking, chat. Whiz robes. Whiz robes. I like the part where I was able to do something about that. Okay, just ignore him. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. I like the part where I can move out of the way! Okay, these guys. I can afford to take a chance and kill these guys for resources. The red ones aren't too bad. It is creepy music, yeah. Okay. I can get out of here. The doors are open. That's a big no from me. Oh, there's a key there. But I don't need a key, so I don't have to really kill any enemies here, do I? Oh, I loop back around. Alright then. Which one do I bomb? <laughs> Great. Maybe the center? I got max bombs, may as well give it a try. This is mean. This is mean. Oh, wow, it worked. What was this thing? Reskin fireball thing. Well, that's unfortunate. But I'm alive. And I know where to go. Oh, 
be okay. Okay, this room's manageable, it's just like likes. I have infinite keys now, because I went back and picked up the level 8 thing. Just open the keys, and let's go. We're good. We're good. Oh, oh, what is this? It killed me is what it is. Oh, boy. All right. Didn't want to waste the potion that early. Gosh, I may need to, though. Careful of the blue room. Good RNG there. Wait, no, the thing was the center. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way here. Unless there was another wall I could break. Are there other walls I could break here? I'm not sure. Oops. Always stuck in the corners there. Alright, this attempt's probably dead now. Damn it. I'm just taking a shot in the dark right now. Probably shouldn't since I found the way forward, but I thought maybe there was another way to go. Now... Okay, good. That Whatever that thing is, I don't have to worry about it coming back each time, so it should be good. Maybe I'll use bombs on the fly thing. Do you need to have the blue ring to pick up the uh, the red ring? Or is it like, um... Or is it like a progressive thing, where if you somehow get all the way here with green link, will it only be the blue ring you pick up there? Uh, this is what I open with the key, so let's go in here. All right. Play it safe. All right, I'm alive. Arrows work on this thing, actually. Nope. How the hell do I even get close to it? It's gonna kill me now. Maybe I could burn one potion, unless I get a fairy drop from this place. Ah, uh, just that, huh? And I'm, I mean, I'm sure getting here without the blue ring would be exponentially hard, but I'm just wondering if that's what the game would do. Because obviously it's technically possible if you're good enough. Ah, it's a dead end. Nothing to stop me from using the keys. And what do we got here? That doesn't look very fun. It looks like those need to be... Those walls need to be bombed on the north and south. Well... Taking a shot here since the game is... Wow, that worked. I can't believe that worked. Oh, it's this again. Oh, I'm dead. I don't know how I'm supposed to hit that guy. Am I just supposed to tank the damage and get... and hit the center one with my sword? Because I don't think you have enough time to get past its uh, ring when it expands. It doesn't look like it. I did not mean to press that. I just meant to see if I could still hit the fire. You can hit the little guys? I thought I tried and it bounced off them. Flies are immune to arrows now, I guess. Oh, this thing this thing came back. Get them, please. He's only right in my face. Well, rupees are coming. 
Don't need to- oops, no, I don't need to go here. I need to go this way. Don't need to waste the potion yet. Not yet. Need to save it for when it counts, not when I'm just dying exploring. But I'm probably going to need it to take out the, um... The fly. Okay. Being too reckless with these guys, I'll be fine. See, look, we're getting rupees. Backup potions will happen. Alright. Let's focus. Focus, focus, focus. Grab your plushies. Grab your pets. All our fuzzy friends. And sev send me wholesome energy, chat. run right by. Alright, let's attack the outer ring. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. Never mind! You can't even damage him without killing the little ones. Oh my god. Alright. I figured since I was already in the inside, I could go for an attack on him, but he's immune. Alright. Ooh, that was close. Okay, good. Looks like every other attempt, those guys don't spawn back. Probably depends on how far I get when I leave this section. Oh, they hit me. If Teddy Ursa believes I can do it, then I can do it. These guys are free, I guess. Hopefully they can be nice and drop... Darn it. Drop a fairy or something. forward. We are safe as can be. What? Did you just pull a Pac-Man? I was facing down by mistake. I panicked. Now, question. Do these guys respawn? Um... Like, if I kill them, are they dead for good? They're bosses? Okay, good. I think it's worth it to spend a potion, then, on this. Drink up. Drink up. It certainly takes its time. All right. Okay, good. The sword beam is definitely a lot more helpful for this, too. Almost forgot what the sword beam looked like since enemies hit me so damn hard. Come on. Oh my god, hit him. Alright, how about we do that instead, huh? Is this gonna work better? Is it, I don't recall if this enemy ever appeared again. Alright, I wanted that boss removed. Go to the next room. What an amazing hint from an amazing person. Okay, more bombs is good. Guess I'm not gonna... Oh, God. Oh, I bumped into him. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I don't need that bomb upgrade, I'll live without it. Everything will be okay. Oh golly, that's a lot of locked doors. And that's why we get that infinite key, I guess. And then 
there's more. Why are they coming towards me? Come on. Oh, get out of the damn way! Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Hell am I supposed to do about that except just hit it in my face? I have not found the map, so we're gonna be in trouble here. Where am I at now? Okay, I see the right side of the skull. It's the left eye of the skull that has the red eye, I think, right? Or red ring. Okay. Oh wow, that worked out. That was a lot more clean than usual. That's right, I gotta find Silver Arrow too, I know that. So, before I check that thing, what's around here? Come on. Now, what is this gonna get me? Jellies, they're free. Still better than level six. Still better than level six by far. Oh my god. Can't believe that happened. I didn't mean to move up. The step ladder let me cut the corner. Yeah, infinite keys was a good call for this place. Oh boy. Golly. I got 11 bombs. Let's use them. So many of these, like, little staircases all in level 9. Oh, that was a trick. That was bad luck, I got tricked. Hang on, no, no, the stairs the exit. Which, which wall do I bomb? Oh god. Okay, okay. There's another one. At least there's no whiz robes here. At least there's no whiz robes here, chat. And we're getting more rupees. Okay, I should go potion soon. Okay. Hello, friend. Welcome. Trying not to die here. Oh, I got hit. I threw the boomerang, too, and it, like, just whacked him. Man, the way those things move, it gives you that just sort of, like pseudo, like, 3D look, doesn't it? They're probably real proud of that. Okay. Okay, I gotta use a potion. This is worth it. This is worth it. This is worth it. Let's go. I can handle this. I can afford another potion if I, uh, have to start over. But clearing these flies out so they don't have to come, like, they won't come back. I'll be fine. If I leave the dungeon, they won't come back, right? That's what I meant when I asked that earlier, but really hope they don't, because I don't need that happening. Okay, I need a candle. Oh! This is Ganon? Oh. How was I supposed to know this was Ganon here? I don't have silver arrows, so I can't hit him. Great. That's lame. I can't finish the fight because I don't have silver arrows. Well, I can get warmed up a little bit at least. How do you reveal where he is? This doesn't seem right to just guess with the sword. It's not really what you have to do, is it? Hope not. It is? Oh. It's 
So he does that, and I have to hit him with silver arrows, I guess. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. All right. So... So, uh, we got distracted by Ganon Chap. Just to confirm, if I leave the dungeon, and, uh... If I leave the dungeon and buy another potion, those flies will still be gone forever, right? They stay dead. All right. That's all I needed to know, because I did not want to risk things, you know what I mean? Let's farm some stuff here, too. Damn. Get some health back. Take out the, the Lynels on this side. Oops. Well, that's great. That's what's gonna kill me now. Buy medicine before you go. Close. I just need to explore a bit. That many Lionel at, Lionels at once in Breath of the Wild would be ridiculous. It would be rude. Oh. I'll take that bomb drop, because I'm going to die in a second anyway. <laughs> oh, golly. Oh, it's these things. I certainly hope they drop what I need. Yeah, I'm dead. Hmm. Now that I've got the potion and uh, limited on money, I still have it right. Better make sure. So I think I missed it in chat earlier. Which which eye of the skull has has the red ring? I don't remember. Him out. Go this way. These lads are back. Ah. Well, at least he gave me the heart back. In you go. Oh, you did not hit me. Like likes, open for drops. Nope, no drops. You did not. Okay, good. That would have been bad. I haven't tried going down here yet. I guess I could take a look. Hopefully, it doesn't seal me in. Oh, it's these guys. Yeah, these guys are basically free farming. Can't see the bat forms, though. I don't know how that hit them, but I shouldn't complain. Well, there's the right eye. Hang on, I'm taking these guys out first, because I'm making, making me paranoid. Well, I needed the rupees, that's for sure. Okay, that doesn't open it. Oh, come on. Oh, there's no door there. I thought there was a door there for some reason. Okay, flies are dead. We don't gotta worry. Wizards. That's actually a bad layout. I'm gonna reset the room. I need them. I need them set up so I can just walk straight through them. I went for it, and I got it. I shouldn't have, but I got it. Okay, good. The flies chat are gone. The flies are gone. So if it's in the top rightish here, does that mean if I bomb these walls, I'll find it? Let's find out. 
go into the next room. Anything here? Nope. And now we gotta take all these, like, paths here. Alright, time to potion. I'm not gonna realistically get anywhere if I don't take potions, which is annoying as hell. And the money grind in this game is way too much. I feel like most of my time has been spent in the overworld grinding money. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, right after I used the potion too. I couldn't have known. I couldn't have known. Alright, this puts me here. We have obviously I haven't checked over these paths yet. Doesn't look like there's anything there other than maybe a rupee or key drop when you um, kill the enemies, so we'll go this way. A dark room, but not actually a dark room. Take it. And over here is... Okay, I've seen that warp before. I don't remember where it goes, though. Wait. Wait, no. If I go up, does that take me to Ganon? Wasn't that where I fought him? I think Ganon's room was to the north. No? Why is there that one door that says nothing, then? Okay, so it's safe to go up then. No, I don't have the compass, so that's why I'm asking. Oh, right, I went into the sealed room before because I killed the like likes. Okay. I need to take these guys out. Their drops could save me later. Okay, I haven't been up here. Like likes. Nice. Oh, he took the big shield. He took the big shield. That's lame. Can't really do crap about it, no, no, can I? Well, I'm not fighting these guys. What? Oh my god, get- <sighs> What an obnoxious combination of enemies. Alright, well here's another one. Alright. He's dead, now we gotta worry about him. Don't gotta worry about anything. Those guys are just too fast. Okay. No money drop from them. The eyes of the skull have a se have secrets. Okay. So I'm on the r road to another skull. Or Eye of the Skull. Just gotta go south. Okay, it's below me. Hopefully that wall will break. I feel like I've tried breaking the wall from all other three sides, so it's got to be from, like, the, the right side, then. Well, this doesn't look very nice. Wait, were there bombs down there? I don't know if I actually saw... There were bombs there. Why are there bombs there? Nope. 
No extra drops. Oh, golly. Why? It's annoying as hell. I really don't want to grind for another magical shield. Definitely not gonna. Okay, this thing again. So it looks like I'm in a loop now. But I can't bomb anything over there. I can't go south that direction. You can't get to the eye. The only way out is to kill that red thing and to leave now. That's lame. Oh my god, I thought it was gone. Oh, they take damage from this. That's something. Something to keep in mind the next time I gotta do it from the beginning. Okay. The eyes of the skull have secrets. I know, old man, but I can't really do much about that at the moment, now can I? Uh, excuse me? How do I get out of here? Do you need the other walls break down, I hope? I wonder if any of these will lead back, because I've tried the other walls that lead to new places. This isn't good. Well, here's this. Tried bomb in the south wall. Okay, that was it. That's the way out. This little loop's a bit obnoxious now, isn't it? Now what about over here? This way is still one way, so that means if I go up here... I'm just sealed in here now. Well, I got bombs back. Not good, chat. Not good. So how do I get out of this loop? Confused now. Because I've been all around. And this will just seal behind me. I'm sure there's still walls to bomb, it's just it's a very confusing layout. Okay, these guys again. I need to have this. Twelve block room. Where's that? This? That's 12 block room. Can I bomb this wall over here, maybe? I think this might be the only other one I, I, can't, I can try in this situation. Okay, good. There it is. And this is hell to go through right now. Ah, oh, darn it. All right. Uh, double check the map here. If I go down here, I'm reasonably sure I tried to bomb this wall already, but I'll try again just in case. 
Which means I gotta go up here. Oh boy, the layout for this dungeon is not very nice now, is it? Clearly other places to go, but it's hard to I can't really know if um if it's a if I need to like bomb a wall to get in there or if I need to take like a staircase and it like warps me there. Which is a really annoying way they have it set up there. Alright, I don't have my big shield anymore, so I can't block that. Have I tried bombing the skull wall or bombing into the eye from the right side, or left side. No, right side was right. Let's see if these guys will just give me any drops. Damn it, they hit me. Okay, just go down, try bombing the left wall, maybe that'll let me in. going better than level 6 was. I hate... I hate whiz robes so much. Okay. Candle. Hit! Alright. Think, think, think. Where do I go? Um... Is this a dead end? It's looking like a dead end if it's making a skull shape. Keep going up. All right, I can ignore this room. I was, I was thinking. I feel like it'd be a waste of bombs to try anything else. Oh, that's lame. Okay. Let's go up. It looks like that'll be the next way to through. Yeah, this definitely looks like it's probably a room where I bomb stuff. First. Yep. I thought that might happen. G give me the. There we go. Haven't I been in there before? Well, it worked. I think I've seen this thing before and I died to it, didn't I? Yeah, but this thing's gonna go in case I gotta come back through here. almost... Oh! I got the map. That was actually really worth it. That was worth it. I mean, I still have to... It doesn't help me that much because I'm pretty much forced to look at this one of places I've already explored. You know what? I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to just take my potion first. Let's do that. By the time I get the red ring, I'm not even gonna need it. <laughs> There's gonna be, like, nothing for me to really deal with anymore. Oh. Bombs. Perfect. I gotta kill them all. Nice, nice, nice. Got him. Okay. Just go. <gasps> there it is. Okay, it's the silver arrows are in the eye then, aren't they? 
friend. Okay. Where am I at right now? Doesn't show because I'm not a, I'm underground. Okay, so the top corner of the skull has that secret then. So, there, is there any in-game hint for finding the red ring then? I thought it was in the eyes of the skull the whole time. Well, point is I got the red ring, so I should be a lot better off now. Handling the rest of this dungeon, so I need a way to get into one of the eyes. side, are they? Okay, then I guess I'll make, try and find a way to get there, then. Uh, I'm guessing I need to get to that left row of, uh, rooms, and where was Ganon? I don't remember where Ganon was. Wasn't Ganon on one of the, like, the leftmost rooms that I visited? I don't remember. I gotta find a staircase to get there, regardless. Into the next room you go. Oh, they gotta die, right? I don't know why I'm trying to avoid them. We got them! Ganon direct was directly below the left eye, was he? I wasn't paying attention to the map because I didn't expect to walk in there. All right, now I'm over here. So, all right. So I'll make my way to the left side, then I'll try and search for the silver arrows. Wait, so you're telling me the old man's hint was that the Triforce piece was in the eye? Or Zelda's in the eye? That's barely a hint, then. Thought he was I always thought he was talking about the red ring, but I guess I misre misremembered the whole time. The right eye doesn't have anything. Oh, so he's also just a liar, too. Okay, should be safe to go up, then. I need to go... Oh, great. The red ring doesn't give you an attack buff in this game, does it? another potion if needed. It's just defense buff? Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing I go past these guys and probably bomb the wall. It looks like the kind of spot that would be bombable. Here, I remember I pushed... I killed these guys and pushed a block. This way? No, I'm confused too. I'm not even following right now, chat. I'm not even sure where I am. Okay, I'm up here. Um. I think I go over here. Then I take these stairs. Let's try and conserve our health here. I should be fine. I got the red ring. I just need to get them arrows and then go kill Ganon. This leads to Ganon. Oh. There's it, le it there leads to nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing else there. <sighs> or, well, at least I know how to get there now. This place is annoyingly complicated, but, it, like, it's not as, like, large as I remember it to be. Definitely makes you pretty damn mad to go through, that's for sure. Oh, right, gotta kill him, of course. Oh, might be faster just to die now. 
Hey, heart for my trouble. It's even worse in the second quest? Oh, kind of dreading that. I might put off doing a second quest run of this game for quite some time. I'm honestly a little hesitant to, to even jump into Zelda 2 right after this one. I feel like I should probably give myself a break and play like a different one before Zelda 2. There we go. Now then, um... Where am I heading now to? I'm not sure which one I'd play, though. Get that. Um... Do I go up here or down here? It looks like there's still... Hang on a second, actually, if I go down... I take the stairs down there, all right. We'll do that then. Oops. I mean, Zelda games, you can't really... Hang on a second. Is there really nothing if I bomb that wall up there? Hang on. You don't really need to play Zelda games in order, because the, the timeline is absolutely all over the place. Hang on. Which... Wait, talking over here? Uh... Stairs and diamond shape. Yeah, there's so much stairs in this dungeon, it's hard to really explain which ones you think go where, is it? Alright. Let's keep looking. You'll be fine, Link. You'll be fine, little friend. Did I take these stairs before? No, I haven't, apparently. I thought I took those stairs! Well, whatever. I guess we're going here. Okay. Great. I don't have a potion. I thought I had a potion! Oh, God! Why would they put the frickin' spark in a room like that when there's only one tie, like, one block of war- er one block worth of space to move. Ah. Alright. I have to go buy another potion now. That is so obnoxious. Well. At least I'm doing alright with money through these runs. The wizards teleport around, so if that spark thing's just kind of going along the out the outer side there, you're just dead. I'm gonna buy medicine before you go. All right. Okay. I'll take you out there. All right. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just um. It's going to be hard for me to determine what uh, diamond stairs those were again, but I'm sure we can figure it out. All the I think all the mini-bosses are dead. I'm just going to go through there again. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, chat. I can do this. These things take damage from the candle, so I can hit... I have a ranged option for them. get over there. One rupee. If I need to buy more potions, I can grind for it. I'll probably get the money along the way, I hope. Maybe. Please. I'm definitely not gonna grind for another magic shield. That sure as hell ain't happening. Okay, uh, 
I think I go right up and then left, and then there's a staircase that'll take me near the staircase I was at before. I hate blue whiz ropes with a passion today. They're rude, chat. They're so incredibly rude. Go to the next room. Probably a little late to ask at this point. I feel like my microphone might be a bit weird. We're only just, you know, four and a half hours into this today. And I shouldn't have looked at uh, the timer right then. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. Fine, don't worry about it. All right, good, good, good. Jellies, these are a chance of drops. I'm already halfway, about halfway to another potion. Yeah, I'm near the stairs again. I'm actually starting to mem remember the layout. Can the bats even drop anything? I feel like I haven't like seen them get stuff or just drop anything. These are the stairs, right? These are the same diamond stairs I used. I'm pretty sure. Thank you for subbing their brain. Or was it Brian? No, I read that as brain instead of Brian. <laughs> Wait, no. No, your username is Brain Brian. I read I was correct. Never mind. Anyway, I am distracted by this observation. I need to get back here. Alright, we're back to the same room. Here, watch me complain about it again. They don't take damage from the arrows. They should, but they don't. I'm gonna have to potion just for this room, because this layout is actually pretty damn rude. I'm more worried about this room than I am for Ganon. Let's go. Okay. Come on, guys. There's three sparks, too. I didn't even realize that. Where are they going? Oh my gosh. Should I go for a bomb? They're stacked up. Alright, now I've got to figure out which one to push. Uh, this layout, it's this one usually, right? Yeah. Okay, same layout. I'm pretty sure they did that because it's like a memory thing. I'm just going to tank it and go. Can't really get out of the way here. There it is. The arrows. Do they cost extra rupees to use? I hope not. Alright, I know where to go. I know where to go. We're gonna beat Ganon. We're gonna beat Ganon. I did not chat, I did not expect this to do to do this in one sitting today. I'm genuinely pretty happy with myself. I don't suppose silver arrows hurt this guy. Or hurt these guys. Okay. Does the wand hurt the whiz robes? That might have been okay for it, but still, I don't think I would really want to go back to level 6 at this point. Just for the wand. Even if I have the upgrade. Dark nuts are immune to the wand, so it didn't seem, like, worth it. If whiz robes are also immune to it, I'm, like, I wouldn't use it. I just wouldn't use it. <laughs> Only if you physically smack them with the wand itself, so literally worthless then. Wow. Um, to get to Ganon, I go past uh, the sealed door here by killing the Lake Lakes, right? I'm pretty sure it was around here. I took damage. One's great for Lake Lakes. Yeah, it definitely would help, but it doesn't seem like it would have been worth to go back for. Because that dun level 6 is just rude. I'd say next to this dungeon, it's probably like the second most annoying one. Why did I do that? I want to go to Candle. One's probably a lot more useful than the Ice Rod is in uh, Link to the Past, that's for sure. Okay. Let's get some drops. Money, money, money. Heart. And... <sighs> this room is just a pain. Okay. 
We're on the right track. We're on the right track. I still have a potion left to use, too. Gosh. Well, that's awful. Oh, I think it hit me anyway. Like a frame before I went to the load zone. Let's hope for a fairy drop here. That would be fantastic. Ganon was doing fast damage to me before, but I had the blue ring, so I should be alright. Now that I got the red ring. And this skull is huge. Okay, chat. Let's do it. Hopefully I don't get, like, uh, killed. Here he comes. Oh. Oh, man. So, yeah, this is pretty lame, not gonna lie. So, uh... Without the magic shield, it's also kind of a worse. Are the fireballs coming out of his hand? I feel like I'm better off just, like, swinging the sword wildly. And hope he just kind of spawns into where it is. Uh... How do you hit him consistently? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do this, though. He just seems to just go... stab randomly until it happens. That's really how it works. Okay, like, like one more. I did it! I got the Triforce power check. He does have a pattern. I wasn't really noticing it, but it's too late. He's turned to dust, chat, and he's gone forever. He just turns the ash. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. We both hold up our Triforce. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. The end. And that's just how it goes, chat. Staff. There's the people that made a chat. At least the shortened names, because I can't fit them all in. Another quest will start from here. Press the start button. Will Ganon rise from the ashes? Link. So now I have... My character has a sword icon in his hand. Very awkwardly. And that starts the second quest, which is an arrange mode. Alright, chat. That is the end of Zelda 2. I will probably try the the second quest sometime. <laughs> Not right now, though, that's for sure. Um, this was a fun little start today because I genuinely expected to take multiple streams to get through this game. I mean, four and a half hours is a long session, but hey, it was fun. We got through it. Was it was pretty good. Now, I do want to play Zelda 2, but I feel like... Uh, right, going into another NES Zelda right after this one, it might be a little bit, a little bit frustrating. So I might pick a different one to play next, for all I know. But I will definitely still be doing uh, beating Zelda two for the first time. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with myself today because, like I said, this took me like an eternity to beat when I was younger because of like how obscure all the stuff was, and I had the Game Boy Advance. Uh, port. I don't know if the, the manual that came with that one still had, like, the stuff that, uh, the NES manual had. 
where it just straight up told you some secrets, but I lost the manual to those. I didn't keep the manual to Game Boy Advance games anyway. Anyhow, chat, that was, that was a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and stop it here. Hope you're all enjoying YouTube. Hopefully I can do a lot more Zelda games this summer, because it was pretty cool. Have a good night. Bye-bye.